And hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm terribly sorry for the delay. For some reason before, when I when I opened up OBS, or rather when I went to uh to the you know the specific scene uh where my microphone was available or where my microphone was in use, my microphone for some reason was not available. That was weird. I don't know why that was like that, but it's fixed now. So that's good. Um yeah. Hello, everybody. How do you do? Welcome to Strem. Happy first week of spring. Hi. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, so again, sorry for the delay. I don't. I really don't know what happened there. Um, OBS was being a little quirky. That that's for sure. Though it it, it is interesting because I had noticed earlier in the week for some reason my audio output wasn't automatically switching over to my headphones whenever I plugged into my headphones to my PC. So I had to manually switch over the output to my headphones. So maybe that was the issue. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. It was weird. Strange. But oh well. Let me see who is who is here. So I may say hello and welcome. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hello and welcome. The 27th X. Teeter, SK Voigt, J, Gaming Yoshi Fanatic, Cherry, Bladed Fox 14, and Aiden Garcia. Howdy do, folks. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are all doing well. It got cold here the past few days. Um, it's chilly all of a sudden. We It was warm, and now it's cold. Uh, yeah, and let me tell you, this week... Um, I hope you'll you'll forgive me blabbering a bit while I get uh, the game up. Steam is a little Steam's a little slow. Um, but yeah, this week was was absolutely crazy. Hello, Emily. Welcome to the stream. To start off my week, right? So here here's here's how the week started. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is your mic plugged in correctly? It sounds like the other day. I think. What do you mean the other day? How does it does it sound chunky? Does my microphone sound a chunky? Let me let me pop into, let me listen to the stream on my phone and see how it sounds. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me skip forward and see how it sounds. What do you mean the other day? Oh. How does it does it sound? Oh, chunky? it sounds it sounds crispy. My microphone sounds funny. That's not good. Oh. All right. Uh, I know how to fix that. Let me make sure that everything is set correct. It is set to... Oh, Discord, I did not ask you to open. So please go away. F terribly sorry for technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream tonight, folks. Uh, if you'll just give me a second to get all this worked out. Uh, oh. Let me go to control panel, because I can fix that from the control panel. Um... My mic is... Oh, wait, you know what? I know what it is. Give me one second. I'm going to unplug the microphone for a second. Okay, how do I sound now? Do I sound better now? It should sound better now. Um, oh, good evening, you sound chunky. Let's see. Hello. Hello, Gideon, are you there? I'm speaking to myself from the future, from the past. Okay. Ah! Woo! Yippee! I'm just t testing the microphone. Um... Okay. Sorry. Uh, I it, it I fixed it. Hi, normal sound to get in. Yeah, that happens. If for some reason, my microphone gets weird depending on what port it's plugged into. It gets real chunky if it's plugged into the bottom port uh, on the front of my PC. But if it's plugged into the top port, it sounds fine, which is why I usually plug my controller into the bottom port and my microphone into the top port. I switched ports when I was having that issue before to see if that would fix it. That did not fix it. Um, but now we have fixed it. Um, 
so while we wait for Steam and while I get the game going. Uh, yeah, so my, my, my week started. My mom and I were going to go grocery shopping, right? We we're going to go grocery shopping. We hop in the car. Uh, all is well in the world. When suddenly uh, we're, we're, we're driving down the road and before we left, mom had to grab something out of her car. She had to grab her post office keys because we we're going to run to the post office. Uh, and she forgot to lock her car before we left home. So, and that made me start doubting myself and thinking to myself, crap, did I, did I lock the front door to the house before I left home? So we turn around, right? So, so, so we, we, we turn around and as we're on the way back to my house, live chat, thank you, Cherry. Um, as we're on the way back home, so I can make sure that the, the front door is locked and, and mom can, can lock her car. Suddenly the power steering and the brakes uh, give out on on my car, the power brakes and the power steering, um, which was slightly terrifying because we were just starting to go around a turn and there was a, a very large dump truck coming around the same turn. Uh, and so there I am and their mom is panicking in the car trying to figure out what's wrong. Uh, and she's trying to keep my, me calm. I'm trying to stay calm. It was very stressful. Um, so I really had to put like a lot of, a lot of, oof, a lot of chutzpah, uh, into pushing down the brake and turning the wheel to actually get them to function. And I, I, I pull off onto the side of the road at, at, at this one turn. I'm right before where my house is. Um, and so, yeah, so suddenly my car decided, Hey, my battery's going to die in, in the middle of nowhere. So my brother and I are, are, are putzing around with it later on in the night. Uh, and eventually we figure, we, we, we think we figure out what the problem is. We think maybe it's that the battery died or that the battery is dying at the very least. Um, so the plan is I'm going to buy a new battery and then I'm going to take it to this one specific auto body shop that specializes with foreign cars. Because keep in mind, my car is a Volkswagen um, and it's going to be great. So the next day, was it the next day? Yeah, it was the next day. I wind up going over to my brother's um, shop. His, his, his lovely little advanced auto parts store. Uh, I buy a battery uh, and then and then mom takes her car and falls behind me and I go in my car to the shop. We had this whole thing planned out because just in case there was any issues with my car along the way, mom decided to be driving behind me. That way, if she's going slow behind me and I'm directly in front of her, nobody can try to get between us and cause any funny business and I can't potentially get rear-ended in an accident should my car decide to give out on the way to the shop. So we're going, it, 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 it's going great. I'm taking it slow. I'm, I'm just being as careful as I can. As I am pulling up to the auto body shop, perfect climactic ending to this, right? As I am pulling up to the auto body shop, the auto body shop is like, I can see it. It's right ahead of me. I suddenly feel the wheel tense up again. And I feel the brakes get really stiff. And I look over at the dashboard and I see that the, 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 the battery light is on and the EPC light is on. And I realize, oh crap, it's happened again. And so the shop is on a slight hill. I keep my foot firm on the on the brake. I keep my hands steady on the wheel. And I slowly come to a stop directly next to the uh, the, the the repair shop. Literal, perfect, miraculous, genuinely miraculous, cinematic, climactic end to a stressful drive and then they fix it they, they they put in the new battery for me and then they figured out oh hey your uh crankshaft sensor is b bad that's probably what's causing your issue as well as the dead battery and so they replaced that and yeah and i got the whole job done the whole kit and caboodle for like 300 dollars, which is really good um oh do i want to allow pizza tower to make changes to my advice you bet i want to let pizza tower make changes to my advice um, man, that's terrible. I'm glad you guys got out of it. Though. Oh, absolutely. It was very stressful. Uh, and that's how my week started. That was like, that was Tuesday and then Wednesday. And then yesterday was Thursday. It was just, it was very, it was a very nutty week. But hey, you know, what's a really happy thing. You know, it's a really happy thing. I'm, I'm just mentioning this while, while the game boots up. So I had planted in my garden before the winter, before, as the fall was beginning. I had planted some pansies in my garden, in some pots. And pansies are really cool because they're cold weather flowers. So they like the cold. Um, and they're pretty hardy. I've had them up until like February before. And we've gotten a lot of snow. We've gotten some very deep snow. 
uh, this past year. And so this past week, I step out on my porch and I look in the pots where, 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 where the pansies are. And I'm like, hey, look at that. Them pansies have got flowers. My pansies, which I planted in October, it is now November, December, March, no, January, February, March. It is five months later. And my pansies are now producing new flowers. And what's even crazier is on the lawn now, popping up out of the lawn, and alongside the house, are pansies. Somehow, these flowers that I have planted in pots and hanging baskets, I think through the birds, because the birds like to use them for nesting material, have just started spreading across my yard, which is really neat. And now the game is launching, so it'll just be a minute. Uh, any second now. But yeah, so that was my week. Um, hey, Gideon, remember the fridge conversation? Where's the G in Soldier? Soldier doesn't have a G, Jerry. While the game loads, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll pose you guys a fun, a fun puzzle. Spell fridge. No, no, correction. Spell refrigerator. R-E-F-R-I-G-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E -R -R. Right? That's how you spell refrigerator. Now, spell fridge. F-R-I-D-G. Where did the D come from? Why is there an out why why is there a chalk outline of Peppino? Hello You know, you're not supposed to be full screen, Mr. Peppino Pizza. Uh uh Where is Pizza Tower? Peppino Mr. Peppino Uh Uh, one second. Oh, familiar music is here. Okay, uh, game capture. Who's calling? Now is not the time to be calling. Uh, capture specific window, window, pizza tower. Here we go. There's Pepe. Why is the, who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this? What? Peppy, Peppy, um, let's just fix this. Okay. Cool update, Pizza Tower. Really cool, the noise update. Really cool stuff going on here. The, the music finished before the intro finished. That's good. There we go. Oh! We got him! Already unlocked. Look at that. The noise is calling. That's who is calling. Noise is calling. Pick up phone. Oh, let me... Can I move the window, please, Peppino? Uh, it's been way too long since I played Pizza Tower left. Here we go. I want to move the window. Video. No. Pizza. Pizza. Uh, Peppino, which button? There we go. Window mode windowed there we go yes can i move i can move the window now with my mouse it's like last year all over again ah <laughs> oh. the intro to this game reminds me of a shonen anime same can i make the window a little smaller can i can i make it a little i get no this is the size it is okay I gotta smush chat. One second. I'm smushing chat. Why? I swear. This stream has been... Is a mess. The little dumb reaction thing is on in chat. And it shouldn't be. Uh, live reactions. Get out of here. I can't read chat with that in my way. Okay. Well, as always... Uh, let me know how things sound. If the game is too loud, if I'm too quiet, so on and so forth. Yada yada. 
you've heard me blather on like this before, and you will hear me prattle on like this since. Um, no, I want to go back. How do I... A button. Audio. Let me turn down. Ah! 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 <laughs> That's fun. Um, now I'll turn it up in OBS, because now you can't hear it. Gideon, why does Sherwood look weird in the thumbnail? Because that's not Sherwood. That's not him. Oh, and now it's Borked in, in OBS. <laughs> oh, we're off to a wonderful start tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to such a good start. This stream is really good. This is a really good stream. Okay. I had technical issues. You had launching technical issues. We're having technical issues. Yep. How do I leave window? Okay. I've heard, I've heard something happens if you, so one of the, you're going to the moon, Pepino. We're sending him to the moon. Okay, he's doing it again. It's fine. Are we buffering already? Good. This is a good stream, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't even started the game yet. Okay. It's time for the noise. No. No, that's not. How do I? No, I don't want to exit the game, Pepino. How do I start the save file? There we go. Is there's the boy? Do we get a different plot here? Nope. Look, everybody, it's him. Gideon, why did you tell Teeter Weirdwood's name is Sherwood? Gideon, why? Oh, I'm sorry. His name is Chris. <laughs> oh, how do I? Okay. I am definitely. That is a GameCube controller. I am going to fiddle with the controls for a minute. Uh, controls. Controller. Binding. Let's make jump this button. Let's make g dash this button. How do I... Wait, no, I, it's... It's showing there's multiple things on a button. I don't want that. There we go. Um, clear bindings is that button. I don't know what that button is on an Xbox controller. There we go. Okay, so for jump, we want A. For, actually, do we want that or? Yeah. For dash, we will use B. Every, uh, for taunt. Well, no, we want to clear that. And then... There we go. Don't mind me. Just fiddling with the controls for a minute. Uh. Oh. For the... Yeah, that we want to be up. Don't we? Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Controls are saved. Yippee! There we go. There we go, okay. All right, so things are already a little different. We have a skateboard for one thing. We have a skateboard. Can I not, um... Ooh! Ooh! Now, if you remember correctly, when we, when we first encountered uh, the noise, uh, the first thing he did was flip us off. So hopefully that doesn't happen right out the gate. Oh my gosh, I love your thumbnail art. It's like the guy from Kirby Squeak Squad. Hello! Xenar Green... Xenar Greenhead's Raw Time. Welcome to the stream. Uh, that's... That's... Sure weird. Or Weirdwood. He, it doesn't really have a proper name yet. He's vaguely inspired by Daroch. Hi! He's sort of a... A weird Wario evil counterpart to my normal, uh, little fella. Sherwood. Seeing this again makes me really want this on Mac and console. Same. 
Instead of running up walls, Noise will bounce off of them with his skateboard. While doing a wall bounce, press to launch yourself in the direction of a wall in order to bounce again. Okay. Oh! Oh! Ah! I'm... Okay. So is this just the main game again, but with the noise? Yes! I think? But there might be new stuff? I'm not sure. Noise can do a drill move if down is held while he is in the air and his skateboard is out. While doing the drill move, you can move left and right freely. You will also go through small gaps automatically. Okay, okie dokie. I like where this is going. You know what? I am gonna just don't mind me as I fiddle with my controller with my controller for an hour. I'm gonna change one little thing. Oops. Uh. Uh. There we go. Hey, there we go. And uh, there we go. Uh, I'm actually gonna change this to the X button. That'll be a little bit more comfortable, and then we'll change this to the E button. Sorry. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Listen to the song. I know it's the funny Funichuli holiday song. Uh, no, not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay. No, gosh, gosh darn it. Clear. A. Exit menu. How do I leave? There we go. No, I want, I want to leave the menu. I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Please, let me out. How do I get out? I, I genuinely, how do I leave the menu? Back. Did I screw up the controls? Did I double bind the controls? I mean, hey, if Celeste and Hollow Knight can get physical versions, why not Pizza Tower? Well, uh, Switch physical version probably isn't going to happen. Sadly, that's been confirmed by the developers. Um, this should be... I feel like that's the belly flop. That should be down. Um, I want to leave the menu. How do I... Okay. Press any button. I'm pressing the A button. It's not letting me confirm. So that's going to be X. Or it's Y now. Back. Okay. There we go. We're free. Okay. We escaped. We escaped the options menu. Okay. Now, how do I? How do I? I I'm guessing I need to use the the noises new drill move. His patented new drill move. Oh. Oh. There we go. That's my face. That's my beautiful little face. That's his, his... I hate him. I really do. But maybe this game will make me like him. Hello, Vinny Videos. Welcome to the stream. That's definitely the pizza title theme from Spider-Man. Yeah, that's that's just a classical piece of Italian music called Funiculi Holiday. <clears throat> Noise's super jump works the same, but has the ability to do it at any moment by pressing up and while on the ground. Ooh! Look at him go. Whoa. He do be stupid. Kinda rug even. While doing a wall bounce, keep RT held while reaching the ground to boost forward. Woo! Oh, well, it's pizza time. Turn the game volume way down. Is it loud? We'll turn that way down. Thank you. We're not going to get to hear that new um, pizza time theme yet, but that's okay. Okay! Tutorial is done! All right. 
You know what? I, I am sorry I keep fiddling with my controls. I just can't find something I'm happy with. You'll have to forgive me. Um, this is, I, I, I swear, we'll be done meddling with the controls after this. It's been a while since I played this game last. All right. The boot is going to be A. No, the jump is going to be A. The boot is going to be what it was. That's going to be B. Sometimes you got to play with your controls for a while before you're really happy with them. Now I'm happy with them. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. No. There we go. Is it loud? Blasting. Sorry about that. But hey, that's what you guys are here for. If it's too loud, please let me know. I will fiddle with it and futz with it. Okay. Shall we? Uh, I, I would like to go in the door. Thank you. What? Has anyone seen swap mode? What is swap mode? Is that anything like stop and swap from Banjo-Kazooie? Already we've got new music. Oh, and his TV is yellow. Is this gonna is this gonna make me learn how to do John Gutter perfectly again? I I I think I spent a good like. Ooh. I know I said it was the last time, but I actually think I've worked something up. Keyboard. Okay, these are cleared again. Those are clear again. Okay, so then never mind. Maybe it's fine. Wait. Oh, no. Keyboard. I selected keyboard by mistake. Escape. Escape. Controller. There we... No. I said it was the last time. I promise. I promise you. This is keyboard. Controller. Bindings. Let's just clear these for now. Um... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, why is it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, already we've got new tunes. We have got tunes. Oh. There we go. Fork knives. Fork knights. That's what they're called. Yeah, how are you guys doing this week? I feel like I have not asked that question yet. So how are you guys doing? Gideon's one minor mistake away from snapping. Yep! That's right. It's up. Oh, it's up there. That's right. It's been a while since I played this game last. Um, like, even just casually, it's been a while since I played Pizza Tower last. I'm glad to know it's as fun as ever. Um, see, there's like and tunes. Well, we're in for more. Just you wait. I remember where. Oh, oh, he's slippery. He is slippier than Pipino was. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I mean, that makes sense. My guy is on a skateboard after all. I might have to go really soon since I have a test tomorrow. Absolutely understandable, my guy. No worries. Again, I, I got off to kind of a late start tonight anyway, um, because A, technical difficulties, and, and B, technical difficulties, and C, technical difficulties. Nine times out of ten, when I get off to a late start, it's technical difficulties. Ow! Go. Oh, is it buffering again? Oh no, you're referring to what I said before. Sorry. Uh, this is the least colorblind friendly palette since Mario World on GBA. I'm sorry. There's a lot of purple going on here. Um, terribly sorry. Woo. Oh. It's going to take me a little time to get used to how the noise differs from Peppino. Because Peppino's play style just became part of my brain. Oh, good face. 
Oh. No, that's not how you want to do that. Oh! That's a new move. Oh! Bye. <laughs> oh, I missed the thing. I, I missed the, 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 the pizza friend. I don't know what they're called. Ha! Ah! Let's see. I see a wall of purplish gray and a yellow ball in the middle. Well, the yellow ball in the middle is the noise. He's the worst. Um, bam. Don't worry. Once we get out of, uh, out of the purple, you'll be good. Oh, hey, Noisette! She's here. Ah. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm loving everything that's going on on the TV in the, in the corner. That's really cool. Noisette's uppercut is higher than Pepino's uppercut. Oh! Oh, Noisette. I didn't autocorrect that in my brain. Well, that's good to know. That'll be helpful. Yeah, Pepino's uppercut really doesn't give you much to work with. Um, it's just a little boost. I'm gonna go for lap. You know what? I am gonna try to go for lap two. Ow! Ooh, if I can stop bouncing on the walls. Hi, how's it going? He just he falls like a little gremlin, man. Like he, he he's a creature, and I don't know how I feel about him. Wait. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get up to speed. I gotta get up to speed with the noise. Ooh. Okay, so there we go. There we go. I'll get him figured out sooner or later. We got an achievement, ladies and gentlemen. That's always a good thing. All right, I have to go to bed now. So I'm well rested for the, for the morning, for the test in the morning. But have a great night, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in, even if just for a little bit, Gaming Yoshi Fanatic. It's always nice to have you around. Hope you have a great night, and best of luck on the test tomorrow. I believe in you. Do it. Lap two, here I go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, never mind. No lap two, I guess. Gideon, I know I wasn't here for most of Pizza Tower last time, but why do I see people post Wes Weasley Gijnaks with their Pizza Tower fan art? Uh, that's Mr. Stick, and he's basically Wes Weasley. But in this game, we'll find him. Where is he? Let's let's see. Where is Mr. Stick? Oh, he's up where the boss door is. Whoop! Or, oh, no, no, this isn't the boss. The boss is over here. The boss is Pepperman. Pepperman would be located here. Oh! Well, hi! How's it going? You're not Mr. Stick. This is Noisette. Um. He. <laughs> Oh, gosh darn it. This game is going to make me like the noise, isn't it? It is. Hi. She wants fifty. She wants $100. I only have 50 There was a secret here in the base game. Aha! It is still here. The funny little man. Mr. Stick is just noise. Gotcha. Okay. So the, she, he has been replaced. We did uh, John Gutter, so now we're off to Pete Skate. <laughs> I really like that instead of doing new, um, like, beginning screens for each, new title cards for each stage, they just slap the noise's face over where Peppino would be normally. How do I... I'm get... Oh, wait. Yes! Noise is overpowered. The more you play, the more you will see... Noise that reminds me of Bob's Burgers. She does. I I I still haven't seen Bob's Burgers. It's one of those shows I've I've been meaning to watch, and I I just haven't gone around to it. Oh, 
All right, my muscle memory for this game is slowly coming in from downtown. How do I? Wasn't there something in there? I guess not. Well. That's all right. I don't know if any of the levels have been reworked. Um, before the noise. Oh. He's a, he, look at him go. Like, wham. Look at he He climb. Holy cow. He, he ascends. Spaghetti. Woo. Whoa. Let's see. Um, in the fake Pepino chase is noise. Noise will scare fake Pepino away. I thought I saw somebody post a video of that. I'm like, hey, that's funny. I mean, would you want to mess with the noise? I wouldn't. He was stolen away for Splatfest. Sorry, I'll be back when I can. Okie dokie. Well, thanks for being here, even if just for a bit, Teeter. It was nice to have ya. Woo! Got us a little skateboard. I'm probably not going to wind up getting a P rank right away on anything. I certainly didn't on John Gutter. Uh, it will take me some time to get used to the noise. Okay, was there something up this way? Nope. Ow. I'm good at getting hit, that's for sure. Right, we have to jump over the priest and then come back this way. And then, ha -ha! He do be sliding. Ah! Look at his stupid little fork. Oh! Oh, that's right! This You can double jump! Again, it has been so long since I played Pizza Tower last. Um, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> He's so dumb and I love him. Look at this little goober. That's not what I wanted to do. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Oh, I don't have John yet. That's right. Or, er, um, Jerome. My mistake. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Going the wrong way. Oh, sweet merciful heavens. Nothing stops the noise when he gets going. There we go. And we're already going. What's that? I'm not, well, I'm not going to read what that says. Um, I can't believe Gideon hates the noise. Listen, listen. It's not that I hate the noise. I just found him to be a great nuisance when we first played this game. When I first met the noise, the first thing he did was flip me off. I don't think you would like him either. Books. Key. Woo. Wouldn't mess with the noise because he would kill one of the waifu toppins. I. Th those are new. Listen, I know what toppins are. I don't. I don't want to know what waifu toppins are. Don't. Don't explain to me what this is. I, I, I don't need to know. Wow. Happens to the best of us. See, listen. You get it. What do you mean that was lame? I put my heart and soul into that. Hi. I forget where Jerome is in this stage. Good, because you shouldn't know. Oh, there he is! If I don't need to know, big suit, it won't hurt me. Howdy, Jerome. How's it going, bud? Wake up. It's part of cringe culture? Well, I have bad news for you, my friend. Cringe culture is dead. Um, it died and we don't miss it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not used to the pogoing yet. The pogoing is cool. Um, I like the pogoing. I'm just not used to it yet. It's neat, though. It do be pretty neat. down here? That's right. That's right. Wow. Alright, now let's get out of here. Let's boogie! Hi, hi, how's it going? How you doing? Ooh. This game has so much visual noise, but it reminds me so much of my own art. I really hope my art doesn't look like this because it's kind of hard to look at. Well, keep in mind, your art doesn't move. This game moves, which probably isn't helping. Um, I don't know if this game was made with color blindness in mind. I don't think it was, uh, which probably isn't helping. I, I am sorry. Oh, Jerome. There we go. I think I have all the topics, right? Yeah. You know, as good, I will say, as good as Pesto Anchovy was, I really like the Noises uh, escape theme. Ooh, cool. And this is the second time this has gotten reworked. Oh, this way. Yeah, secret. Let's see. Um, why do TikTok kids hate Pizza Tower so much? Because, I don't, I don't know. Uh, don't ask me. He's a donut! Donut boy. Onion man. Um, my art also doesn't have a background and foreground that's the same color. That's true. Ooh. There's the little man. We beat him up when we played as Peppino. I'm wondering if lap two is saved for a second playthrough of stages now. Because I remember playing through this the first time as Peppino, you could just do lap two from the get-go. Like lap two is just there. You start the stage and you're and, and you're ready. Like, see? But now can't do it. Pizza Tower is a great game. I couldn't agree more. This was honestly my favorite game of last year. And prefer an extra P. Acceptable. Thanks. Noise, don't make me forget why I'm beginning to like you. <laughs> Come to Noisette for hugs and kisses. What? Hugs and kisses? Sign me up. Hi. I give, I give smooch. Isn't that one? There she goes. Holy Toledo, we can go to Pepperman already? I've beaten two stages. All right. Ancient cheese. I'm guessing we're not getting any more uh, new music. We got two stages with new music. Well, one stage with new music. And now it's just stock. And I'm okay with that. This game's soundtrack is already wonderful, so I'm not complaining. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, though, I really like... Oh, fiddlesticks. Um, oh, no! That's fine. Gotta say though, coming back to a game that I've I've played and really enjoyed with a new character, that's really neat. Um, let's see. Not too terribly fond of the exiting a stage gimmick to be it though. Uh, I also don't like the Majora's Mask for similar reasons. Lol. Not talking on the game, just thinking out loud. Oh, you don't like the you don't like the the escape sequence? Personally, that's one of my favorite kind of parts of this game. Um, I said it before while I was streaming the the main game of this, but that was the thing I, I felt that Luigi's Mansion 3 was missing. 
Um, I'm gonna get used to this gameplay, I promise. That was the thing I, I personally felt Luigi's Mansion 3 was missing, and I felt like Luigi's Mansion 3 was building up to, was this big, long escape sequence where after you beat King Boo, you, you run back through the whole town, and you have to go floor by floor and get back down to the bottom. And it, it just, it, it, that's not there. Um, which, you know, a little disappointing. Obviously, it's, you know, it's it's the Wario Land uh, for inspiration. Touch the rat. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's right. Um, the Metroid did it as well, obviously. Peppermint reminded me of Annoying Orange. I heard that a few times. I heard a couple people say that. I, I was never into Annoying Orange. Even though that was, like, the right time period for me, it was never my thing. Key. Personally, I really like the, um, I really like the, the escape sequence mechanic. I think it's really cool to run through a stage and play through it and then have to do it again, but in reverse. And now, uh-oh, there's added tension because, uh-oh, something's chasing after you. Ha! So, wait. So. Okay. I'm, I'm slowly understanding how the noise works. He's slowly making some, some sense. Some dollars and cents. I can't throw... Okay, so you just gotta gun it. Unlike Peppino, the noise cannot throw things. He just has to smack. I don't like being rushed in games unless it's the final boss. Something small or something like... Uh, New Super Luigi U, also small bits of gameplay. I don't particularly like time things in games. Hey, that's okay. Wow. I mean, you know, it's a it's a personal, it's a matter of matter of preference. Um, oh, I need a bomb. Excuse me, sir. Could I have that? Thank you. Ah. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. There we go. Chef task complete. Um, I, the, the Annoying Orange was one of those those weird times that, like, something from the internet got on TV. Like, that, Fred, um, I forget, did, did Smosh ever show up on TV? I know there was the movie, but I forget, I, I don't think they ever had a TV show. That was a strange phenomenon. Strange, strange time to be alive when just randomly internet people were on TV. It's like, oh, hey, there you are. Unless we're talking about Good Mythical Morning, because they were on TV first, I think. They would just do commercials and stuff. Oh, there's a secret right here. Here you go, Jerome. Thanks, buddy. I got two toppings and some peanut butter. Cool. Being realistic here, I'm probably never going to think about this conversation again after tonight. You know? That's yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> no big deal. Holy Toledo. I, I think... I think the noise gets up to speed faster than Pepino did. Um... Because Pepino gets fast, but not this fast, this quick. It's not like this is a heavy critique. Yeah, no, you're good. It's not a critique. You're just telling, you're just saying, hey, this is how I feel. I don't personally like this gameplay mechanic, and that's okay. Can I still? You can still parry. Wow. Smosh was never on TV, but Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Pro Jared were all on Disney. Yeah, wasn't wasn't freaking Jacksepticeye just recently in um uh oh what's it uh Sonic Prime? Wasn't he in that? Just for some reason, Jacksepticeye voices some random pirate. Why we don't know. I missed a secret. There we go. Scott the Waz was also on TV. Yes! Scott the Waz was on TV on G4 for a short period of time. And they had to... I believe they had to, like... 
There we go. They had to rescore all the episodes, you know, to remove the, um, just like the licensed game music. Oh. Anytime that Scott plays a song that's from a video game in one of his videos had to be changed out. And so they, that's why he got a new theme song. It's because they couldn't use music from uh, 2D Dot Game Heroes. Breakout on television without getting Nintendo say so first. Oh. Okay. Was it Nintendo? I actually don't think it was Nintendo say so specifically. But you know. You know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's see. Pro Jared also appeared in iCarly. Yes, he did. Which was really weird. And he was like, if I'm not mistaken, he was like the stereotypical internet critic and was just like, he was basically Doug Walker. They basically wrote the nostalgia critic into the show, but cast Pro Jared to play him. If I'm not mistaken, that's a little, I think that's a little flanderized. I just got another achievement. Don't ask me how or why I got an achievement. I'm not really sure. Whoop. Here we go. Let me rechat a second. Um, the background and foreground in different colors drastically so. Finally, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> The noise, is the noise is based on the Noid, a mascot who was rejected from Domino's Pizza. The Noid's commercials aired in the 1980s. Yup, and they recently brought him back. For a, I, I, I find Domino's bringing back the Noid, the Noid to be the... F I pressed parry, but nothing happened. To be the funniest thing. Because they brought back the Noid when they were trying out some new... Um, like, self-driving delivery vehicles in cities. And they're like, yeah, guys, if anything goes wrong... And our self-driving uh, autopilot Domino's delivery vehicle doesn't deliver your pizza right. It's not the machine's fault. It was the Noid. The Noid did it, guys. The Noid stole your pizza. You've hurt the noise ten times. I'm sorry, the noise. Woo! Pro Jared was on the cartoon show in the Nickcom TV series. I think it was Game Shakers, not Ar iCarly. But it could have been both. It's been a while. I don't remember. I don't know. I didn't watch either of them. <laughs> I didn't watch iCarly. I didn't watch Game Shakers. I didn't really watch a lot of the Nickelodeon sitcoms, to be honest. I watched a lot of Nick at Night. Um, watched a lot of Fresh Prince and, and uh, Full House. But you know, I never heard of iCarly. I watched Drake and Josh, but who didn't? Um, yeah. Blood Sauce Dungeon. Slap the noise on there, and we're good to go. I still don't entirely understand how the noise works. Um, but he certainly does work. Bam! Yeah! Bam! There's all, still stuff I didn't do, actually, as ow, as Mr. Peppino Spaghetti himself. Um, at some point tonight, I might go back and play as Peppino for a little bit. Um, because there was two new stages added. There was a Halloween update to this game. Uh, and they added two new stages. And I haven't played them. Game Shakers, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Gideon, do you think another guy named Noid will swoosh right in to another Domino's? What is the risk of being swooshed at Domino's now that the noise is back? Or the Noid is back. Ah! So that's the thing, right? The reason why Domino's uh, got rid of the noise, the Noid, Pizza Tower has ruined me. Uh, the reason why Domino's got rid of the Noid in the first place was because there was a schizophrenic man whose last name was Noid who thought the commercials were about him. And he did some things that I don't think I can talk about on my live stream. Um, so, they wound up getting rid of the Noid mascot after that happened. I don't know if there will be 
consequences for them briefly bringing him back for like three advertisements in the year 2022? Um, that's a really good question. Whoop. Whoop. Let's see. The show was about kids being game designers, but I don't think any of the show had any kind of game developing. So it was like the tester, but for kids and a sitcom. Question about game changers. Was it the kind of show with... Okay. I have really oddly specific knowledge. Is it the kind of show where they're like, we're playing the video game now, dad. And in the background, you hear the sound effects from the Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong over their modern day, not supposed to be retro video game. Is, was it that kind of show? There we go. Because I, I, I notice that. I hear that all the time. I notice that. Whenever, pay attention. Whenever you see people playing a video game in a TV show, or like people are in an arcade in a TV show or a movie, Take a careful listen, and you will specifically hear the sound effects from the Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong. For some reason, they're, like, just in a library somewhere. Like, in a sound library. Um, Gideon, they made Flash games for it. Lol. They made Flash games in the show, or the show was about them making Flash games? I need clarification. <laughs> Oh, that's that's the other way. That's right. Speaking of YouTubers on TV, did you know Jablinski Games was in a few movies back in the day? Really? Actually, yeah. Crazy thing about Jablinski Games, right? Because he's you know he's the you know he, he he does a lot of cool stuff. He makes music now. Did you know that Jablinski Games was in a commercial for uh, Adventure on the Atari? Again, a lot of sick Atari fun facts tonight. Um, from what I remember, it was just another generic teen sitcom. Only the kids say, we're game developers. I mean, hey, more, more power to you. Wait a second. Hold the phone. There we go. You're really supposed to come back for this when you're escaping. But soup is important. The show was about them making Flash games, but they didn't make them. They just said, wow, look at the game we're making that you can buy now. Oh, so then, so, so then they, oh. So the fact that they were, you know, game developers was more so setting than it was actual characters. That's like having a character who is the postman that doesn't know where anyone lives. You know, it's like, oh, how, oh, do you know how to get to Johnson's house? Greg Postal? Nah, sorry. I don't know how to get to Johnson's house. Man, we should ask the postman. I am the postman. <laughs> Let's see. Out of Jimmy's Head was based on a CN Reel. Was based. And CN Reel was judged too harshly by people online with no life. I mean, I agree. To an extent. However... It is a little ridiculous to consider the fact that a net, that a you know a television station called Cartoon Network had a period in its life where it aired no cartoons. That's a little hokey. Oh, you can parry those. Ow. These are new bonus rooms, I think. They were game developers in name only. Nice. They should have made a an episode where they make games and they, you know they should have had an RPG maker episode they should have had an RPG okay hear me out okay this could actually be a good plot for a television show though right you've got like a group of of, of high schoolers who are game developers and they don't know a thing about what they're doing so every episode is just them trying out a new engine right the first episode, they're making something in RPG Maker. The second episode, they're making something in Roblox. The third episode, they're making something in Unity. Uh, and it just keeps going from there, where each episode, they're, they're, they're just failing to understand the functions of the software they're using. And just like, okay, today we're going to try making a game in this. All right, what do we need to do? I don't know. How do, um, oh, that's how. 
Woo! I'm getting, I'm getting so many gosh darn achievements, folks. Woo! Whoa. You're not Peppino. I just called him Peppino. You're not Peppino! You couldn't be Peppino if you wanted to be! I, I don't think he would want to be. They're like sworn enemies. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> okay, he just he still does the funny scream. I'm I'm happy he still does the funny scream. Oh wait. Woo! There we go. I am very much so still not understanding how the noise works. Let's see. Gideon, CN didn't stop airing cartoons. It just aired some live action shows for a bit during a writer's strike. Some of my favorite childhood shows are lost media now because of Idiots Online. Well, that adds context. That adds context. A, didn't know it was during a writer's strike. So it makes sense that they're like, well, we, we got to put something on television. And not like we have a back catalog of shows we can show from the past 20 years or anything like that. We gotta put something new on there. The kids want to watch Build Destroy Build, right? That's what the sh they were airing. I'm slowly getting this. Um, CN didn't have a downfall. All of TV had a downfall. If you turn on CN right now, you'll find some... They're still airing amazing shows. Oh, absolutely! Uh, freaking Mau Mau was amazing. I'm sad that show didn't get a, a second season because it deserved it. Um, Parker Simmons is a phenomenal showrunner. Uh, and everybody involved with that show is really cool. Ah. Up we go. Theodore Noise. Go, my guy. His name is Theodore, apparently. Noise. Get it? The... That's what the V stands for. I really like how the, the noise's movement flows. I just haven't gotten the grasp on it yet. If, 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 I'm glad I'm not doing lap two right now. Because if Pizza Head was chasing after me, I would get caught in an instant. Which is why I shouldn't waste time. Oh, that's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. It's interesting because, like, playing as Peppino, climbing up walls just becomes so natural. It's just like, that's how you do. That's how you get through areas. So not being able to do that is very strange to me. Um... It was like a two-hour block on Fridays only. How bad could that have been? That's true! But on the other hand, I mean... They could have just aired some of their older shows, you know. They could have just done that thing that Cartoon Network was founded on doing. You know, airing old cartoons. I don't know. They needed to fill the block so badly. Um, hello, I won't be here for long, as I'm going to be ghost hunting soon. But I am here and eating chicken. Hello, KG! Welcome! I, I have no extra clothes to wear. But this is the noise. He he is here. Um, Modern SpongeBob is great. The only people who don't like it are people who don't watch it. That's true. I've heard Modern SpongeBob is really good, but technically that's Nickelodeon and not Cartoon Network. Also, how did we start to? Oh, oh! I didn't realize you could hold this down. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't realize. I feel very silly now. Let's fight Peppermint. Let's see. Destroy, build, destroy is lost media. And I think about it constantly. You people have no idea the rage in my heart because of that fact. That's a very handsome picture he's got painted there. What? Oh, go. What? How did I do that? How did I do... I... Huh? How did I... How... I can kick little bombs out. Okay. 
I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting my keister handed to me by Pepperman. This is embarrassing. Ow. Yet you have to be a loser. You're going ghost hunting? What kind of ghosts are you hunting? Are you hunting medieval ghosts? Oh! Ooh. Ow. I'm gonna look like a stooge if I get destroyed by Peppermint! Okay, that's a neat trick. That's a neat thing I can do! <laughs> nice death animation. Um, yeah, let's, let's not discuss the current status of DeviantArt. I am, I am not in a jolly enough mood to discuss the current status of DeviantArt, thank you. Um, I am disgusted and perturbed by what it's become. Chef tasks! Hold the phone! The critic! Defeat this world's boss without getting hurt. Well, that's probably not going to happen. But I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, you can't just hit him with that. Okay. Yeah, it, it sucks. It, it's a shame. Because DeviantArt used to be amazing. Um, it wasn't. You know, DeviantArt wasn't always the best. And obviously, you always had stinkers there. But, you know... For the most part, it was very community-driven and focused. And the people running it clearly cared about artists and about art. And there was they, they were always doing things. There was always stuff going on in the community to encourage people to be creative. And now it's like, hey, make money. Hey, make money. Buy AI adoptables. Yippee! I don't. I do not understand the purpose of AI adoptables. It completely misses the point of adoptables, and and just makes no sense. And oftentimes, the adoptables that are being sold are just like copyrighted characters. I don't think you can do that legally. Ah, uh, hello. Let's see. Everything about the show was funny except the critic himself. <laughs> ha. Let's see. Um, basically, Phasmophobia and Roblox. Nice! Um, neat. Ah. I need to hit the thing to make the statue. Oh. There we go. Is that the last? No, the second phase. Second phase. How do you get a P rank without getting hurt? I don't think you can. On bosses, you need to take no damage um, to get a P rank. That's really the only requirement. I don't think time is necessarily a factor as long as you just get the job done. Excuse me, sir. I would like to thank you. I can't tell you how many times I played this boss's Pepino um, and just played it over and over and over again, trying to get it perfect. And then taking like one dumb bit of damage at the very end. And it's such an easy boss. It's the easiest boss in the game. Wham. Ow. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to show you the beauty of your own creation. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm not doing good. I'm doing bad. It's going bad. Ha ha ha. please. Look at the funny statue. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. You son of a goat! 
There we go. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. That's not- Oh, I got him! Yeah! Woo! Hey, Adoptables, it sounds like NFTs. Basically. And they're just as worthless. Um, DA is the only place I've ever seen people put sheets of Adoptables, and they're all the same doodle with different patterns inside, like that one regular show joke. Yeah. I got a key. A comically large key. Oh. I'm sorry. Listen, I did my best, Mr. The Noise. I did my best. It's not my fault that your control scheme is different than what I expected. So what's up with this DLC? Is it like a separate story? Game mode? What's up? Okay, so here's this. Here's the gist of the noise. Uh, the noise has a completely different play style from Peppino. A lot of the same basics, but things like he can't climb up walls. Um, he attacks differently. He moves differently. He has. He gets up to speed faster. It's pretty much the same, but there are some differences here and there. Um, there's a couple new music tracks here and there. I, there's some changes to the bonus areas. Um, yeah. He there he goes. Thanks, Jerome. Howdy. Welcome to floor two. That's the most attractive face you're ever going to see from the vigilante. Nice. Again, I might switch back to Peppino for a little bit um, to check out some of the, the added stages for him. Oregano Desert. Nice sprites. There was a family guy in that one. Like the multiple characters from Sonic 3K? Yeah. So trip story. Yeah. Yeah, this is Ant Knuckles. Except paid. Actually, no, this DLC was free. That's the cool thing. This DLC was completely free. So that was nice. That was nice of them. I like it when things are free. Woo. Probably easier than Trip Story. Oh, absolutely. I am 100% having an easier time with this than I did with uh, with Trip Story. Trip Story wasn't hard as much as it was just kind of unfair at times. Cheesy level design here and there, but for the most part, not not horrible. Woo. I gotta say though, the little drill move, I'm getting used to that slowly. See, glad I haven't been on DA for two years. I remember back when AI became a thing and DA supported it. Was not for it. Yeah, no. No, neither was I. The only reason, really, why I have stick, stuck around on DeviantArt for as long as I have is because I've got a good ten years of art on there. And sure, not all of it is really worth your time. A lot of it is very old. So, like, you know... You're, you're not missing much, but then there's a lot of stuff from, like, maybe only three years ago that I am still pretty proud of. Um, yeah. And so it's like, I don't, I don't really have any other way of getting all that art somewhere else without having to painstakingly re-upload everything and either copy and paste descriptions and, or retype them. So that's really the only reason why I've stuck around at DeviantArt. Um, I thought this was paid DLC. Nope, this is free. This is a freebie. Which I think is pretty cool. Okay, I want to get up there. Whoop! And it wasn't even an issue. But now I I need speed. I need speed. There we go. Let's see. Um... I only use DA these days to post new art, but it, that's kind of it. Yeah, I I fell behind in posting um, last year's October, and I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and finish up now. I could, but I kind of don't have the motivation, and generally speaking, I kind of don't want to support modern-day DeviantArt more than I already have. So I think that for the time being, 
I'm just gonna, you know, if things get better, then I will unleash the backlog. That was a nice save. Um, but for now... Oh, 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 look at he go! Let's see. Pissing me off that I see AI art show up more often. And not real, legit art made by people, but who worked hard on their art and put passion into it. Yeah. I, I can't argue because it's true. He has a fork and he does the funny spin. There we go. Thank you, priest. Let's see. Ow. Um, sweet mean back in 2020. Well, hey, I mean, it's it's good to be able to recognize... It, 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 it's important to be able to recognize, hey, I used to be not a great person. I used to be mean to people. I used to be toxic. It's good to be able to recognize flaws in yourself and then be able to say, hey, I want to be a better person. I certainly know I've had those moments in my life. I used to, I was a rotten, I had a, I, I, I had a rotten streak as a teenager. I've mentioned this before. Um, and there was just kind of one of those days where I had that moment of self-awareness where I'm like, hey, I don't want to be that person. I want to be a nice person. So then you make the effort. And once you start, it gets easier. And then one day you're like, hey, I this is just who I am. I just do be like this. Um, let's see, speaking of AI, I forgot to share something to you in the DMs. Oh, okay. Wow. If it's something I should... Let, let me know if it's something I should check out now. Or if I should maybe wait until later on. Uh, how... Getting up there as regular Peppino was already difficult. So I'm wondering it actually might be easier as the noise because he can he can super jump from anywhere. Page 20 wasn't the best part of my life. I changed somewhere in 2023. Nice. 2020 was a rough year for everybody, I think. I think that's safe to say. 2020 was was not the best of years. We all had a bad time that year. Um, and I'm sure circumstances didn't make it any any better. Um, Teenage Gideon was the same, but his hair curled in the other direction and was born... And his bow was black, and he looked in the mirror and went, Oh golly, this is too dark. I need to change. Yeah, basic, basically! <laughs> no, that was pre-bow ties. Or was it around? No, yeah, that was... That was about right. I only had one bow tie for the longest time. And it was just, I just had one black bow tie for the longest time. It was the only one I had. And then over time, I wound up curating a good 20 something more uh, of varieties of colors and things. Different colors and patterns and whatnot. I think, yeah, I think I have, the last time I counted, I think I have like roughly like 24 different bow ties. I just find it funny. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Let's see. I'm actually scared we're going to be in an era where we see things made by robots rather than people, and that people will have a hard time finding their dreams slash career jobs. That's the, that's, you know what? That's, I'd say that's a valid fear to have. As much as I want to be optimistic and hope for the best, which I still do, it is good to sometimes have that realistic thought of, hey, what if, right? And I think it's a valid thing to be concerned about. I, I, I spoke briefly about this last year. Or not last year. What am I saying? Last year. Last week. Um, but one of the most uplifting things for me about the Sussex County Teen Arts Festival, for, about being there, um, was seeing all the artwork on display being made by, by the teens uh, of the community and thinking to myself, wow, you know, in spite of everything, despite what's going on, Despite the rampant use and abundance of AI slop that is out there, kids are still making art, and they're still making really cool art, um, and they still love making art. So I think that things may be a little scary right now, and it may seem like things are going in a bad direction, but I wouldn't lose hope. I wouldn't give up, because I still think that... 
at the end of the day, human beings like to make things. Human beings are very creative. And I don't think you're ever going to see that fully be replaced. I think that there may, you know, there may be a short period of time where, where studios and where the industry, at least, is, you know, where the industry as a whole is not looking for people to make things, but rather want robots to make things. But I don't think there's ever not going to be a need for artistic individuals. Especially with how easy it is nowadays to make your own stuff. And to go out there and just be like, hey, I'm making my own thing. I don't need a studio's backing. I can just put it on YouTube. I can put it on the internet. I can make a Patreon. Um, and I know that's a little... It's an oversimplification of what it's like nowadays. Um, but generally speaking, I wouldn't give up hope. Because there will always be a place for us, you know? Um, yeah. Has anyone ever heard of Felix the Cat? My, my, my dude, my guy, my, my friend. Do you know who you're speaking to? <laughs> Hello, Josh, that guy. Welcome to the stream. Gideon, can you please ask me at a later date for you to show me your bow tie collection? I never realized it was that expensive. Ex yes, it is. It is very large. I will show you. My ties are horribly unorganized right now. I normally organize them by color, and right now they're just all over the place. Woo! Cow. Don't touch the cow. Gideon's whole gimmick is the black and white cartoons. It is! Last week, I did a whole little... No, two weeks ago, I did a whole little demonstration on how to draw them. This reminds me of that one discombobulated specific... new doofus video. Hello, Mr. Purple. Welcome to the stream. Howdy-do. We're in the mart. We're here to buy some stuff at the mart. But don't touch the cow. Ha! Woo! Ha. I think that I believe there is an achievement for beating this stage without touching any of the cows. I'm not getting that achievement today. Uh, if that isn't already clear. That's not how... I did. I did. Good job, Gideon. I went in a perfect circle. Merry Christmas! Yeah! Merry Christmas! It's... March 22nd! Woo! I can't believe I did that. It was right there. You are not denying me the cheese. You shall not deny me the cheese. I shall have the cheese. No parenting is definitely going in a bad direction because either these new parents just don't want to deal with their kids or whatnot. Yeah. Have you... You have to read It's a Christmas Carol again. It's Christmas. Oh. Okay, everybody, we're going to stop playing Pizza Tower now, and we're going to read Charles Dickens' classic, uh, A Christmas Carol, uh, live on stream. Takes about four hours to read it, but we're just going to blaze through it right now. <laughs> oh, I don't want the chicken. Yeah. Parents are doing a great job. Let's see, have you ever played that one game, Escaping an Infected Laboratory, but your legs and one of your arms got ripped off so you have to crawl on the floor? I have not. I cannot say that I have. I've, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie though, I kind of feel bad for kids today, right? Because there's a lot of brain-dead content. Ah, oh, my favorite word. 
there's a lot of brain dead content out there that's targeted towards kids um and i do kind of feel bad that kids don't really get the same kind of intelligent and clever entertainment that they used to obviously like even when i was a kid yeah there was plenty of garbage out there for kids right I, I i know my generation didn't have it perfect but there was still a lot of stuff out there even when i was a kid that knew how to take its audience no matter how young it was seriously and didn't patronize kids and didn't speak down to them but instead you know treated them like the smaller human beings that they are um and i think it's kind of sad that you know you don't see as much of that as it's not that it's not out there, but it's not nearly as easily accessible, you know? There is a topic at the end of this. I don't think I'm getting it. Nope. Little sticks. You showed me that? I'm aware of what that is? Oh! I, I, you know, Pepino was just, like, second nature to me. Controlling Pepino and playing this game as Pepino was just like, yeah, that's just how the game works. And it was just my brain, you know? But this is a little something different. This is a little something spicier. I can't get in there. Mr. Theodore Noise can't go in there. Oh, golly. Please, mister, just give me the chicken. Thank you. There we go. Oh, probably because there we go. Um, duh, 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 duh. What do you think is the cringiest? I don't know. I mean, every... Listen, I think that's kind of a rude way to look at it you know i'm not gonna say hey oh your your community's cringe because try listen i i'm not allowed to call people cringe because i'm a sonic fan um i'm a, i'm a, i'm a sonic fan and a nintendo fan boy so if I, i'm not i i do not have permission to call anyone cringe i am cringe and i'll admit that and i'm okay with that i'm cringe and i am free so don't worry about it, you know? Um, yeah. It's freezing here. I need to go down to the basement and heat the house up. But the basement is colder. It, for real. It was nice. It was warm. It was oh, It was in the 60s. And now it's it's cold. It has gotten quite chilly. It was down to, I think, about 20. It was Yeah, it was down to 20 degrees at its lowest today, I believe. Um... Hating on newer gens is boomer talk. Agreed. I ain't gonna do that. Nuh-uh. There is too much... Let me put it this way. There's too much negativity in the world for me to focus on being negative and to making fun of other people and saying, Oh, you're cringe. <laughs> you're s weird. Right? I would rather be positive and I would rather uplift people for the, for the individuals, for the creativity that they have and for the wonderful things about them than just focus on... On, oh, you're cringe. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at you because you're cringe. I don't know. No. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Oh. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> we got new pajamas. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Pepino, I miss you. There is no cringe. Cringe is just a word. Cringe is just a word closed-minded idiots use to talk about people who are come to Noisette for hugs and kisses. Okay. Um to talk about people who are happy and actually enjoying things. I agree. I agree. Where is Noisette? The sad face on the pizza, I know. He gets so disappointed when he can't catch you. Who are you calling a big dumb weenie? Who are you calling a big dumb weenie, Peppermint? 
I only see one big dumb weenie here, and it's Peppermint. Where, where, where is Noise at? I was promised hugs and kisses. Yes, I'm coming. Here you are. Hi. How's it going? How, how much? My $150? Sure. Smooch. Why do I keep making mistakes? I don't worry about it. You're not. It's not that you're making mistakes. It's just, you know, I disagree. That's all. No need to beat up on yourself. Listen, we all make mistakes. That's what makes us human. There's no such thing as perfection, so don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the cold and and I'm gonna go face the cold and go to the basement now. BRB. Okay. Don't don't freeze. In before playable peppermint, please. I. Uh, you know what? I would. Oh. <laughs> I would take playable peppermint. Playable peppermint would be funny. Playable peppermint would just be Wario. Like you think Peppino is Wario until you play him. And you're like, yeah, this is very different from, from how Wario controls in Wario Land 4. Playable Pepperman would just be Wario. Nice teeth. You can check the funny. There's a funny? There's a funny? You got a funny for me? Hold the phone. We got funnies? Hold the phone. Check this really quick. My internet's been a little chunky tonight, but I think that's just because the weather's gotten a little, a little funky, a little strange. It helps to be clicked in the game. Sm so the name of my window for Pizza Tower right now is Smells Like Death in Pizza Tower. I never realized that the window name changes, but that's pretty neat. Depending on what stage you're in. I wonder if that's a new feature. I like that. I, honestly, I always think that's really cool. When games do that, when like the name of the window will change depending on what you're doing. I know Undertale did that a couple times. Um, Oh, oh wait, there's a secret. I see you. Woo, yeah. Come here. Is that all that's in here? Just them? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Woo. Wow, he's coming up from the ground over here. Oh, that's for the way back. Oh! <laughs> Look at him! He's Boo! He's a goofy little Boo! That's a really good sprite. Anyway, it's time for me to ghost hunt. Okie dokie, KG. Best of luck on the hunt. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? KG. Have fun. I, you can just keep going, okay. Oh, wait, 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 I know. What? No, that's not how I get in there. How do you get in there? Huh. Mystery mushroom, how do I access you? Not to be mistaken with the, the mystery mushroom from Super Mario Maker. That reminds me of a thing, actually. So, there was, uh, there, there's been an ongoing mission of sorts. Um, with Mario Maker 1 players ever since it was announced that, you know, the Wii U will be ending service and Mario Maker 1's servers will be closing. You can't, you haven't been able to upload uh, levels to Mario Maker 1 in about, I think, over a year or two now. Um, but as of tonight, like as of like the past, I think, three hours, it has finally been done. And every single Mario Maker level has officially been beaten. And I, I just think that's that's amazing. That's so exciting, you know? 
but a seemingly impossible goal that, with very little time left, was completed. Like, they had, like... I, I believe the Mario Maker servers closed by, like, the end of... By the beginning of next month. Um, or rather, like, you know, you won't be able to download and play the, the levels anymore. Um, and they did it! And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the last level they needed to complete was called, like, The Last Dance. Which is so fitting. How do I... How do I go? Here we go. Can I go get water? Yeah, of course. I kind of feel bad for the underrated channels because they don't get a lot of views. Yeah. But hey. It, 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 most YouTube channels, sometimes, not always, but they're usually just that one video away from like, hey, here's that one that introduces you to a lot of people. And sometimes, you know, I have found, at least for myself, it's not always so bad having a small audience. I know everybody wants to get big, everybody wants to be famous, right? But I've found personally, from my personal experience streaming, that I kind of enjoy having a small audience um, and not having, you know, an, an enormous and sizable audience. Because, I don't know, it, it's more personal that way, you know? I don't know, that's just me. Hello, MKWD64! Welcome to the stream. We're playing as the noise. Why he boo? Good question. Uh, why aren't you boo? See, that's that's the real question. I can't control the noise for the life of me. Um, say, I just remembered. I, I, I meant to ask you before. Do you mind if I show that art that you, you, you posted uh, of Sherwood this week? Do you mind if I show that on stream tonight? Priest, thank you, priest. Thank you, father. I have sinned. The, the, the priest has forgiven my sins. My sin was playing as the noise. Wow. You got me there, see? Oh, hi! Hi, Ghost John, I forgot you were here. Oh, I really don't want to have to deal with you and Pizza Head at the same time while playing as the noise. Go right ahead, thanks, man. Ah! Hi. Goodbye. So long. Don't waste your time on me. I can't control the noise to save my life. Okay, just gotta bait him around the corner. I really like what they've done here. It's cool. I'm just very bad. I honestly figured you would have showed it at the start. I, 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 I thought about it, but I figured I forgot to ask you. And I always like to ask people in advance first before I show their art, obviously. Um, so I figured I, I would see if you showed up. And if you did, I would ask. Ooh. No. No. Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye, dirt. Power of three easy shots from Kitchen Gun. Go. He boo. He boo! Shown one. Oh, um, MKWD did some art of Sherwood this week and posted it in Twitter. And I asked if I could show it, and he said yes. Wah. Go. Go. There we go. Just surfing on the corpse. As one does. Hold the phone. I think. Nope, there's nothing up there. So why did I go there? I don't know. Completely unnecessary. How much time do I have left? A minute. Well, good thing. And the level is right there. Ooh. Okay. I'd prefer an S or a P. Well, nobody asked you what you would prefer, Mr. The Noise. Let me get this up on screen. 
Wow. Some delightful art here. Let's see. Here we go. From MKWD. It's Sherwood. Look at him. A rubber, a very rubber hose inspired Sherwood. And he's simply delightful. I love the pose here. The way you drew him was wonderful. Especially the um The way you did the face with how the eyes and the muzzle and the face are all kind of the same. Uh just one big part. Very Mickey Mouse. And I like it. And there was a, a black and white variant too. Wonderful stuff. Simply lovely. I love this. This is this is Sherwood at his best when he is cartoonish and funny. I love this. And really nice, by the way, the the grain and the filtering over this, that looks really good. That looks really nice. Very genuine, very authentic. I approve. That's some good Sherwoods right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving right along. Oh! That's right. That's right. Who's the big dumb weenie now, Pepperman? Who's the big dumb weenie now? Me, I'm still the big dumb weenie. <laughs> Mort the chicken! Let's go see Mort. Everybody's favorite PlayStation character, Mort the chicken. From everyone's favorite PlayStation game, Mort the Chicken. How many more ways can I find to insert the words Mort the Chicken into the sentence? Let's see. Just grab an effect off Google for the grain. Nice. That's what I. That, I mean, that's what I usually do too. I had this one really cool um, film grain effect. It was, it was just a PNG. I would lay over things, and I lost it. I lost it when I when I lost my old hard drive. Um, and I've never been able to find it again. There we go. That didn't really accomplish much, but it accomplished something. Woo! Where's Snick? Oh! I just want to know where Snick is. Has anybody seen Snick? Woo! Ah, uh, okay, that's not... Oh, that's not helping me out much. Also, BRB real quick. Okie dokie. There we go. Unless I can recreate an effect myself, but grab it off Google. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I've gotten some good effects and textures off Google myself. In fact, it literally, whenever I'm looking for a sound effect, right? Whenever I'm looking for sound effects, and it's not like a sound effect I know from a, a specific video game, I just go to YouTube and I'm like, uh, walking on grass in boots sound effect. That's what I do. Can I be lit on fire? No, you cannot. I couldn't remember if that was a, uh, a power. It kind of is. else I did myself. Well, you did a phenomenal job. I really like, one last thing I forgot to mention. I really like the the rounded edge. The rounded edge is the, 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 the border around here. And how it's a little blurred. It's a little faded around the edges. I really like that. I'm all about little details like that. Why did the chicken cross the pizza tower is the current name of my window. Hello, Frisk from Undertale. Guys, look! Guys, it's the real Frisk from Undertale. Oh, we have we have officially acquired Cutter Kirby. The noise is now Cutter Kirby. Okay. How are you today, Frisk from Undertale? How goes? How 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 is life being Frisk from Undertale? Well. What's it like being from a uh, retro Earthbound inspired RPG about depression? <laughs> That's how the meme goes, right? Whoop. 
Uh, there we go. Let's see. Flat black and white, I just did some blur and a bit of chromatic abbreviation. A pinch of noise and a hint of bloom for the overglow. That's, that's what I always do for screen crap looking stuff. Nice! I mean, I'd say it worked perfectly. I've been meaning to experiment around with uh, chromatic abbreviation a bit myself lately. Uh, I can't get it to work quite right for me, but I think that's more of a, a me problem than anything else. Howdy, Jerome. It's the real Buzz Lightyear. Quirky, earthbound, inspired RPG about depression. That's it. And now for a really fun name for a song. The name of this song is What's on the Kids Menu? This, okay, fun fact about this song. This was originally supposed to be in the uh, the Chuck E. Cheese level in Don't Make a Sound, and then they were like, N that doesn't fit the atmosphere of the stage at all. Put it in the fun farm. Poor Mort. What did Mort do? What did Mort the Chicken do to deserve having to tolerate the noise? I, I feel bad for Mort the Chicken right now. He's, he's you know, he's... He doesn't deserve this. The abbreviation is more noticeable on the way. Ah. Yeah, I tried doing it. I, you know, it's funny. I tried doing it with the um, with the Sherwood I made for the, the, the thumbnail. The rubber hose Sherwood I made for the thumbnail. And it just didn't look right for me. <laughs> and I figured, you know what? I'm probably doing something wrong here. So I'm just gonna leave this for now until I can figure out how to do it right. Woo! I honestly thought Kid's Menu was from Mort the Chicken since it feels very PS1. I know, right? And you would think that, especially since it's in the stage with Mort in it. At least Mort is in a new game after 20 years. Yeah. Hey, I mean, listen though. Mort's back. Rayman's back. Bubsy's back. Um, oh, hello. Fang is back. Everybody's back. Mort, there you go. There you are. Oh, that's right, you can double jump with Mort. Woo! I don't know how it works for other applications because I use Procreate. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I use Fire Alpaca, um, which is fairly similar to Photoshop. Um, not exactly the same, but similar. At the very least, it's comparable. Um, oh, I want that mushroom. Thank you. Gex is Gex, that's right. Gex is back. Earthworm Jim is coming back in a TV show. Um, there we go. Let me think. Who else is back? Mort? Is Mort a Herculad? Or, no, Mort is real. More, it, this is not a Herculad situation. There was a game for PC and PlayStation 1 called Mort the Chicken. It was a game, not, a, not, not the best game of all time, but a funny little 3D platformer on PlayStation where you played as, as the title character, Mort the Chicken. Do I have live chat on? Yes, I do. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you for double checking. Oh! Mort, I'm not gaslight. Don't, don't worry. I listen. Mort the chicken is serious business. I would not gaslight you with Mort the chicken. That would just be rude and unnecessary. That would be uncalled for, to be frank. Um, I know it's hard for me to be frank because I'm Gideon, not Frank. But you know, sometimes you got to be frank every once in a while. I'm not looking that up. I don't believe you. Cherry, Sapphire, Cherry. Have I ever lied to you before? Don't answer that question. No, Mort is real. All I remember about it is the Twitter account says trans rights. <laughs> nice. Well, at least, hey, if, if, if nobody else has anyone's back, it's at least more than chicken. My, 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 I, my first exposure to Mort the Chicken was when my buddy Mark played it once. He, he, I, he used to do, like, Let's Play videos. Um, and he played Mort the Chicken, I think, in a YouTube video. And I was like, oh, hey, look at this funny little, little chicken man. I forgot to get the secret topping, the secret ingredient on that stage. Oops. Oh, 
But I got all the toppings, so that's... Oh, I, I missed a secret, too. Ooh. Am I going to miss out on the secret noise ending if I don't get all, this, all the toppings and such? Fast food saloon! Oh, yeah, I have new pajamas! Unlock by finishing a level when Pizza Face is nearby. This is hideous. I love it. <laughs> when have I ever lied to you? In the last five minutes. Oh! Box. Oh, that's right. This is the access to lap two. I should really... You know what I might do? After this stage, I might, like, just check a stage, any stage, to see if you have to beat a stage first in order to unlock lap two. Because I think that's... I think that's the secret to doing lap two is the noise, is you have to actually beat the level first, and then you gotta play it again. Wow. The milk has a gun. Who gave the milk a gun? Why does the milk have a gun? Woo! Excuse me, Mr. Milk. Goodbye. Wait, I wanna... Get the thing! Okay, never mind. I don't think that actually gives you anything. Oh, it's, it's you! It's the rocking horse! That smug son of a gun. Oh, hey, there's Gus! The main downside about playing as, as the noise is I don't know if we're gonna get to see Gustavo or not. And as we all know, he's the best part of Pizza Tower. He's our dear friend, fellow, and colleague, our partner in crime, Gustavo. I would really like to do the supercharge there, Mr. The Noise. Pop. Theodore! Let's see. Um, tw Twitter's really messed up right now. Is that way for anyone else? I can't get anything to load, and earlier half the screen was white, and the other half was blank. Nope! It has not been like that for me. Uh, my Twitter has been normal. for Well, by, by Twitter standards, of course. Uh, you know. I, I, I feel like something breaks on Twitter every day. Let's see. Uh, and for my, like, one minute of search on Twitter, either the release of Earthworm, Earthworm Gym Trailer has just been radio silenced with nobody knowing what happened to it. Oh, nice. Well, he's not completely getting back. Also, we have obtained a galloping sausage. Um, the noise is having a great time. Well, that's a shame. I remember the first time I saw my best friend, like, so I, my best friend had been gone for a while, right? And then he, he wound up, he, he was in the military and he was in another state. And then before he got married, he had moved back to, uh, to New Jersey for a little while. Um, and was living with his parents prior to the wedding, right? And I remember the first time I saw him after he moved back to New Jersey, one of the first things he mentioned to me was like, hey, did you hear they're making an Earthworm Jim cartoon? A new one? I'm like, oh. Well, that's neat. Drink comically. Ha ha! Nice. Remember, folks. Drink responsibly. But also drink the drink named comically. It's very funny. I'm not gonna let him beat me. I'm not gonna let him beat me. Woo! There we go. Oh, I need, I need the galloping sausage. Woo! Remember, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey! Look! There's Gustavo and Brick in the background. There they are. Go, go. Woo! I love Gustavo and Brick. I love these rats. These rats are really silly, and I love them. Look at them. Look, ow! They're great. Those are some quality rats right there. Wow. Those are 
we got pizza face on. Whoop. Secret. Go. Ah. Uh. No. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, sticks that were made for fiddling. Well, this is not good. Why is Chris not on the border? This is the first stream and you stick him only in the thumbnail. Cherry, where could I put him? You know what, Cherry? Just for you. Just for you. We'll get we'll get Chris on this thumbnail. Let me we'll, we're, we'll, we'll, just for you. We'll get him in here. Do I have the pin? I do. Here he is. He's gonna be down down here. He's just chilling out. You know what? Wait, let me make an edit of him. Well, the pizza kind of takes up some good screen real estate, but he's just gonna be here. There, there, there we go. You spawn a you spawned a thought for the logo. Yeah, I, I know, but that's different. He'll go. He'll go right here. He's looking for some pizza. That's not too intrusive. There. Go, go, go! Honestly, anytime I have a conversation about Earthworm Jim, I feel the need to state the obvious thing or with any other related series. Yeah. I think I know what the thing you're talking about is, too. There's, there he is. I, oh, I need the key for this, don't I? Yeah. That's why there's a door that says, yeah, that's why there's a sign that says, hey, key's that way, lock is that way. Wait, I am in the wrong room. Now the right side is too filled. Put him on the left. <gasps> Fine, okay. Whoop. Ta da There. He's looking. He's on the hunt. He's schmoovin'. He's looking for that pizza. Where is it? It's there. Psh, high five. I'll get a little going on. There we go. Don't 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 leave Chris hanging. I mean the, you mean the opposite of that. What do you mean you mean the opposite of that? You mean you want me to put him what? I did put him on the left. He was on the left. You... You're dyslexic. Well, Cherry, you're gaslighting me. So uh, we'll put him back where he was? I'm putting him on the right. I'm putting him on the right. He's going to look good. Then it's balanced. There's something in either corner. It's fine. Getting drunk. <laughs> the name of the window currently is getting drunk in the pizza tower. Yeah, it makes sense to go into the door that has the key before you go into the door with the lock. Clone him and go on both sides. You know what? That's a great idea. Double the Chris. Double the fun. Sherwood is not here today, ladies and gentlemen. No Sherwood. Right, put him on the right. I checked my fingers. Well, we can't screw up now. Because there's two of him. Two of him. There we go. And you know, should we do, wait. Should we round it out? And should we fill every corner? And have a Chris on every corner? <laughs> there we go. Make sure they're the same size. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. There we go. I think that looks good now. I think that's perfect. I've now made up for the, what, uh, two hours of no Chris. I can't believe Gideon skipped the mad rat joke I made. You made a mad rat joke? When? And don't get too close or they'll show you their brain. Ah. That was good. That was that was good. That you made a joke about the mob rats. That was a quality joke. 
Dear Lord, they're multiplying. Oh, wrong way! Go, Theodore Noise. Go! No! I don't want to lose to this horse again! Well, I've lost to that same horse twice. All because I jumped off the galloping sausage. There are three of them. This is getting out of hand. Don't lie to me. I know. I, 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 Cherry! When in the past five minutes have I lied to you? Oh, hey! I'm the noise. How do I... Well, how do I... Oh, that's how you do it. You dismount. Well, oh! Here we go. Secret. Secret two of three. This, I think, is this a new secret? I feel like it is. Ooh, I want them cards. I want them cards. I just didn't know. Uh, what? Me? Lot, you, it's something you need to know about me. About Gideon Sherwood Voigtlander. Is I am a horrible liar. I'm back. Welcome back, Emily. Howdy do. I missed a bunch of cards. There we go. That's not the way to go. Now we can go this way. Let me just, uh, I just want to get the thing. If I could just get the thing. Thank you. That's a really cool rat. Wow. I was going to say that beforehand, but now I, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I need to finish the game. This game is great. Let me just tell you. Let me tell you. This was honestly... I, I've said it a million and one times by this point. But this was my favorite game that came out last year. Pizza Tower is phenomenal. And if you haven't already played it, if you haven't already beaten it, I highly recommend it. Because even if you're just playing as Mr. Peppino Spaghetti, you're in for a hoopin' hootin' nanny, great old, jolly old time. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Wrong way. Wait, no, right way. Oh, that door is blocked off. Duly noted. Ooh, this was easier before when I was going up. Easier going up than coming down. Noise, please. Just thank you. Played it again a couple days ago and got to the second to last world. Nice! The late game of, of this game is really good. This is one of those games where, like, the quality and the fun of Pizza Tower stays very consistent throughout. Um, which you don't always get. Sometimes you get games that are either really fun near the beginning and then kind of drag on and then aren't fun near the end. Or you have games that are kind of a slog to start and then only get good later on. Mr. Noise, thank you. Oh! The screams are fun. That's a that's a very strange sentence. Touch every card in Fast Food Saloon. Woo! Another achievement. Ah. Ow! I've been shot. water. Let me just go grab some water. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm really not going anywhere. I'm literally just walking to the other side of the room um, to go to the sink where the tap is so that I may pour myself some delicious tap water. Everyone's favorite! You know what I've been weirdly nostalgic for lately? And have been, really been in the mood for 
and really want to play. I've been feeling very nostalgic this out past week for Minecraft. I was watching a bunch of videos on like people who still play the older versions and say that, hey, you know, there's a certain charm to old Minecraft. I'm like, yeah, there is. Old Minecraft is cool. And I don't know why, I've just been feeling, I've, I've really wanted to play Minecraft lately. I think that's everything in World 2. Um, right? Just gotta do the Vigilante, yeah. I am not doing well getting the secret toppings, but that's okay. Let's see, or the game only gets, or the game only gets good once you get the hang of the controls, which I feel I can say for me with Super Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh. Super Mario Kart is very fun. I don't get a gun? Oh! Well, I'll just start kicking bombs then. You don't get a gun. You do as Pepino. The noise does not get gun. So then do I just gotta hit him? No, I think I actually have to kick the bombs at him. Okay. Um... Gideon, how's your water from the ground? Gideon, how's your water from the ground, you forest well man? Uh, it's very good. It's very good ground water. Yes, Cherry. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone. Ghosts. Ghosts! Okay. Even though you don't get the gun, which makes me sad because the gun is really fun, I really actually like how they incorporated the little bomb kicking mechanic. What? Oh, hello. Let's see. Only real complaint I see for it is the drifting. You can figure it out. Just hop and you're done, and you're done turning. True. I just blew up a cow. Hey, Gideon, when are we gonna play Minecraft? On stream, I don't know if that will happen. But like, just privately, I, I'd be down. I'm in the mood for the craft and the mining and the such. Gosh darn it. You know what? This boss was my favorite boss while playing as Peppino, and it's my favorite boss so far while playing as the Noise. This is fun. I'm getting my butt kicked. But man, I'm having fun. Cow. Ah! Oh, howdy, Teeter. Welcome. Woody from Toy Story is a boss? He is. I thought you said I'd love playing with brown bricks in Minecraft. I do. That was not a collective we. That was a you and a me we. Oh! Well, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But I genuinely do want to play Minecraft. It's just a thing I want to do. I would try Minecraft with Gideon and Cherry, even though I've never played- Teeter, you've never played Minecraft! Teeter, how have you never played Minecraft? My guy. You gotta try it. It's really fun. You can make a little house. And there are frogs now, apparently. Um, I'm sad because apparently there are foxes in Minecraft, but I'm not sure if you can tame them. I think you can, but it's, like, very difficult. And I'm just like, man, just let me have the fox. They're adorable. Ah. My Minecraft skin is like Knack Jr. in a biker's outfit. Nice. I used to play, um, a couple years ago, my, my brother-in-law had, had realms. So he had, like, a server. Okay. Exactly. You have experience. Okay, think of that, but a little less, like, a little less drawn out. Want to build a house? Oh, you punch a tree. Okay. You can't tame foxes. You have to steal the babies, if I remember. Oh. That's just gonna make me feel bad. Ah! 
Gideon, I still have that Sherwood Minecraft skin for you. Wait, yeah, that Sherwood Minecraft skin you never showed me. I took a sip. I wasn't prepared. Ah, let's try that again. Dragon Quest Builders 2 is multiplayer. Is it? I was unaware. Again, just like with Peppino, you just kind of... This is a boss where you just kind of got to be careful and you got to be patient. The dynamite can't hurt you until it explodes, I think. Um... Because it probably looks bad. I don't care if it looks bad. I want to see it. I want to see Minecraft. Sure would. And it's on Switch. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think it has crossplay. Don't quote me on that. But I think Minecraft has like crossplay across console and PC. So someone playing on PC can play with somebody on console. Don't quote me on that. But I feel, I feel like I remember that being a thing. And I think there was even like a special trailer when the Switch version came out about, hey, you can play with people who are playing on Xbox and PlayStation and PC. Whoa. The dynamite can't hurt you until... The dynamite can't hurt you until it explodes, I think. Gideon Sherwood Voigtlander, 2023. Well, I mean, to be fair, dynamite can't hurt you until it explodes. Just chuck it. L listen, you would really have to pelt a stick of dynamite at somebody for it to hurt. Oh, no, I knew I knew you were talking about Dragon Quest Builders, but I was also just talking about Minkrift. Let's see. I've only ever made two Minecraft skins. One of SMB1 Bowser and one of Harry, which I think looked a little too skinny because I tried to shade. Because I tried shading and it makes me cry. Mood. I once made... I once tried making a Sherwood and I got like halfway through it and then I was like, this doesn't look great and I don't know what I'm doing. And I tried shading and it made me want to cry. And I, I tried going for like game art style accurate shading too instead of just going for funny cell shading it's like this doesn't look great Gideon there's two different Minecrafts and only one is cross compatible and it chugs on switch oh well then isn't it a good thing I got it on PC Be really funny to make my slime dude as a skin because it wouldn't work at all. Yeah. There is no such thing as transparency in Minecraft skins. So you could be like, oh, it'll be funny. I'll just make it the head and make the body transparent and it'll just float. No, it doesn't work that way. Sadly, sadly, it doesn't work that way. Ooh, you, you. Imagine trying to make Waddle D work, because I did, and it looked weird. Waddle, Waddle Man. Long legs Waddle D. He must have looked like the, the McDonald's Waddle D plush. Cow! Okay, four health is good. Uh, Gideon, yes, there are transpar- There's transparency in Minecraft skins now? Last I tried it, there wasn't. Oh! My mistake. This is what happens when the majority of your Minecraft knowledge comes from 1.5.1 beta, which was the newest version five years ago. I gotta get educated, man. I'm behind the times. I made a joke drawing of it one time nice. Oh, that hurts. Cow. Don't touch the 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 cow. The cow. One health. There we go. How am I going to draw? I don't have a gun. Oh. 
Oh. He just shoots him automatically. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, noise. Gideon, when did you last play Minecraft? Three years ago? No. A year ago. But the bulk of my knowledge comes from 1.5.1 beta. Yeah. Crap. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Mr. The Noise. I can only be as good of a player as you are a character. <laughs> that was joke. This is very good. I'm going to go ahead and talk about something I've been telling others who know about this place of worship that you did this. We'll... That you did this. Well, we're down from your pizzeria, and we're down from this tower. There are customers, and they want to see one of these things. So I got a friend. He went down one of the floors, and this guy came up next to me. And the idea was, why is it that when you're in the upper part of the tower, there is a pizza face character? Then there's a man from your previous life leading the way? There's pizza in your tower with all this information. I have missed a lot, I know. I'm not going for 100% as noise. Because um, I have seen most of it as Pepino. I know there's probably a lot to come back for. But this is just kind of a casual playthrough. Um, up we go. Welcome to floor three. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what the end of that sentence looks like. Crust Cove! <gasps> Good music right here. Quality music right here! Ow. Is this a... I don't recognize this. I feel like this is a new area? Maybe I'm going crazy. Nope, this is the same. Okay. I was mistaken. Let's see. For one of my friends, I gave it a shirt instead of just a vest, jacket, whatever. Put my son in. Nice. Can I go up that way? There's... Hold the phone. Wait a tick. Aha! Whoa! Come back! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come back! I'm gonna get you! Yeah! The cool... Um... Pineapple. <laughs> Welcome to floor three. Name and address withheld. Okay, there's the door. Now I need to find Jerome. And actually, you know... You know, bring him here. I've been slacking on my secret doors. Get that there. Woo. And around we go. SS Ship. That's a really good ship name. Listen, guys, if you're looking for good ship names, I'm just saying SS Ship. Um... Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Woo! Funny little rats. Funny little rat blocks. Whoa. The priest will free you from the barrel. Pineapple smell. Shells? Smells. You're good. I mean, listen, listen. If you skin a pineapple... Does it then have a shell? Technically, you're not wrong. You could say, no, Gideon, that's not a shell, that's skin. And to that, I could respond, yeah, you're probably right. Woo. Pineapple does smell strong. Does it? It's been a while since I had pineapple last. Is the smell that bad? My stance on pineapple pizza has not changed, by the way. 
since the last time we played Pizza Tower. Not the worst thing on the planet, certainly not as evil as most people make it out to be, but also not the incredible thing that other people make it out to be. It's just all right. It's okay. Can I have a shell? Why not? I don't see why you can't. What's stopping you from having a shell? The only thing that is stopping you from having a shell is yourself. Personally, if I stopped myself from having a shell, I would be a shell of my former self. That joke was really forced and didn't work. I, I could have done better with that. Does a banana have a shell? Yes. I, okay, here's a question though. I've asked this question before, but it really does, you gotta wonder, right? Do you eat your cheeseburger with or without the shell? Cause I'm just saying, you know, if you eat your cheeseburger with the shell, it's not that bad. Just, just, just bite right into that shell. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and paper. Mm. Just like mommy used to make. Gideon, when are we gonna get to the titular pizza flower? That's a good question. We'll get to the pizza flower uh, when I go back to work and remember all my gardening tips. I am still baffled. I am gobsmacked by the pansies that are now just popping up in my lawn. Cause I don't, to my knowledge, to what I know about pansies, which the technical name for them is um, Viola, right? From my knowledge of Viola, Viola doesn't spread and I don't think it's a perennial. It's an annual, so you'll have it for one season and then it dies out and it's, it's gone, at least in this um, zone, this climate. But for some reason, I'm guessing because the birds like using it as nesting material. I noticed last year I would see birds all the time hanging out in my hanging baskets of pansies. So I think from the birds taking the pansies and using them for nesting material, they must have like spread seed through the air? Because now they're just in my lawn. I don't mind it. I like it. It's cool having pansies in the lawn. I'm just befuddled, bemused, confused even. Oh, hello. You, you, you come back here, Mr. Man. You, oh, he, he, well, he, he did it to himself. Um, oh yeah, can't noise super jump anytime. Yep. Woo. I am really bad as the noise. That needs to be understood. I cannot wrap my brain around this character for the life of me. I'm trying though. The only time he can climb up walls is in a wheelbarrow. Or in a wheelbarrow, just a regular barrel. Gideon, baby Bowser took the pizza flower. Now the Yoshi babies have to travel across Yoshi's Island to get it back in the Yoshi story. Weed behavior. True. <laughs> I had to think for a second. What you, oh, you're talking about flowers. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not weeds. They're just a flower. I am also really happy. I had experimented last year, um, around August. I tried planting seeds. Was it August or, or July? I forget, either way. I planted seeds for pansies, because I really like pansies. They're one of my favorite flowers. Um, I wanted to see if I could grow them from seed, because I've never tried growing flowers from seed before. I expected I would have had them in time to have them at the end of the year, to have them around, you know, August, not August, um, September or October. And they, they popped up a couple little, you know, green bits, but nothing really substantial. And so I was thinking to myself, okay, I mean, you know, it was an experiment, but it didn't work out. I checked them out now and they're really like green. So I'm thinking they're gonna start popping out flowers any day now. Yeah, but it's still weed behavior. Yes, but they're not invasive and they're not destructive. Um, oh, there's a lot of plants actually that aside from just weeds that spread seed via the air. Don't ask me to name them. I can't think of them off the top of my head. 
But it's not just weeds. Wah. Noise, get up! Go! No. Oh. Oh, I'm not good. <laughs> oh god. This is fine. This is fine. Whoop. There we go. You're a weed. Excuse me, I'm not a weed. You just called me a weed. I'm insulted. How dare you? You know what? Dandelions are adorable. And they're obnoxious, yeah, but you can put them in salad. So you know what? I'll take that as a compliment. Apparently dandelions are very good in salad. I've never tried it myself. I've just heard they're, you know, you can you can eat them. They're consumable. There's a lot of weeds, actually, you can eat. I remember, so my friend Hunter, who I work with, um, when he first started, right? There's this kid, I've, I've talked about him before, uh, Dax, who's like, 16 and he and hunter were like he was helping out hunter this was early on in the season last year and hunter was just showing him all the the weeds you can eat so they were just walking around eating weeds off the ground for like all day they were doing obviously they were doing their work but like just throughout the day they're like hey look at this thing it's on the ground let's eat it oh Yeah. And they're the state of Louisiana. Are they? I did not know this. Woo. Okay. Oh, we got one minute. Oh, Jerome. I can't forget about Jerome. Wait, is this the right way for Jerome? No, this is not the right way for Jerome. That's right. Jerome is in the little nook. Jerome goes to the nook. Oh, I gotta hurry. Rudy, you gotta draw something. Get the fruity smoothie. Cool. Go, go, how do I go? Go, 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 go. Oh, the exit's down there. 20 seconds. Move it or lose it. Where do I go? Keep going. Keep going down. Descend. There we go. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Chris Deltarun in real life. <laughs> um, Gideon, we should do a tier list of all the state flags in the U.S. based on how terrible they are. Yeah, there's some stinker flags. Let me tell you, though, my state flag is pretty cool. My state flag is pretty gosh darn neat. Let me Let me look this up. New Jersey state flag. Let me let me let me show you the New Jersey. Okay, it's not as cool as I remember it being. I mean, it's pretty neat. When I was a kid, I remember at the entrance to the local Walmart, we had this and an, there was this and then an American flag just hanging up. Oh shoot, I closed the tab. Here's the state of New Jersey flag. Let's let let let's check it out. It's a web page. Of course it's a web page. It's my favorite file type. Save as NJ State Flag. So here's here's the flag of New Jersey. And I think I see what's going on here. Keep in mind New Jersey is referred to as the Garden State due to the fact that um a lot of, you know, there's a lot of farming potential. There's a lot of gardening that takes place. You can grow a lot of different... New Jersey has a very, um, like, diverse um, um, ecosystem. So you can grow, like, anything, almost anything in New Jersey, depending on where in New Jersey you are. So here's the New Jersey state flag. So we've got on, on the right... We've got a lady holding a cornucopia full of like fruit and veggies. We've got a horse in the middle and some plows uh, on a shield, 
which you know shows the, the farming the agricultural i'm not sure what's going on with the beanie here i don't know what's going on here gideon your flag is just your state emblem on a yellow background it's a png slapped together in 30 minutes i could sneeze that out yeah but it's i mean it's still effective though it's better than just like stripes and colors that could mean any number of things <laughs> right let's see um the state flag was adopted on march 26 1896 and in 1938 a law certified clarified that the right to display the flag was not limited to the governor alone it is the f the only flag of the 50 state flags to have a background or buff although frequently this is incorrectly shown as yellow the color is based on the facings of uniforms worn by new jersey regiments during the revolutionary war 1775 to 83 like the original states new jersey had its colors assigned in the directive of october 2nd 1979 by george washington then commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, the choice of buff for facings of New Jersey and New York have been meant to recall the former Dutch colony of, the, of New Netherlands. Although the symbolic association is unproved, it is based on a presumption that the orange of the earliest Dutch flags was modified by Washington to buff as more appropriate colors for use in uniforms. Let me take a sip. This is from Britannica.com, by the way. The coat of arms appears in the center of the New Jersey flag and is also found in the state seal. It may have been designed by Francis Hopkins, who was a member of the Continental Congress, or by the artist Pierre-Eugène Dussimitre before being adopted by the state legislature on October 3rd, 1776. The three plows in the coat of arms stand for agric agriculture, which is also represented by the goddess Ceres, one of the supporters of the other supporter and the other supporters liberty. The horse's head and the crest was shown on the early New Jersey coins. And there's like a knight's helmet in the middle. I don't know if you see that too under the horse. Um, that's pretty neat. See, I was right about the agricultural thing with the flag, with the, with the flags, the, um, the plows. Look up Minnesota. All right. Let's look up Minnesota. Minnesota flag. Oh. Minnesota. Here we have the flag of Minnesota. Wait. Thank you, the noise. Don't worry, Theodore. We'll get back to you in a minute. Um, let's see. Let, let, let's check out Minnesota here. Minnesota. We got some French going on here. Um, there's a dude with a plow and a guy on a horse. Is that a Native American man on a horse? I can't tell. Um, you got some nice flowers going on here. Gideon, if I put a drawing of Sherwood you made on a yellow background, why would I get the credit for that? That flag sucks. <laughs> um, boo this man! No! New Jersey flag is great. Shush. Um, do, 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 do. My North Carolina state flag sucks. We'll check that out next. Let's see. What's the history here with the Minnesota flag? This is from Wikipedia. Um... Let's see. The flag of Minnesota is the state flag of the da, 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 design and use. Um, the flag is a rectangular is rectangular and features a design emblem emblazoned in the center of a field of medium blue. According to statute, the flag is bordered with gold and finished with gold fringe. I wouldn't right with you. Um, neat. Symbolism and other elements. Each of the three years cited was notable in Minnesota history. Fort Snelling was founded in 1819. Minnesota gained statehood in 1858. And the first flag was adopted in 1893. Um, the pink and white lady slipper is the state flower. The, the 19 stars symbolize the fact that Minnesota was the 19th state to enter the Union after the original 13. The large star at the top symbolizes the North Star. Neat. My flag is just two rectangles. I'm looking up North Carolina. Is, is that what you said? North Carolina. North Carolina flag. 
Oh. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's essentially just Texas with some extra stuff on it. That's not great. That's a little lazy. Um, doesn't Minnesota have a new flag? New flag? What? Hold the phone. Minnesota gets two flags? Wait a second. Hold up. Oh! Wait a second. Minnesota has a new flag, everybody. Minnesota has a new flag. 2023 redesign of the Minnesota flag. And it's... Eh, it's okay. I don't know. All right, all right, M M dear Minnesotans, Teeter, Jay, tell me, which, which is, if I can make this smaller, which, which do you prefer? New design on the left or, uh, or, or original design on the right? I kind of like the original design more. The new design looks like a separate country. Um, while this looks like a state. Gideon, there's two Minnesota flags according to Google. One is just another state seal on a background. Again, failure. And the other actually looks great. Shows the good one. Ah! Ah! It's all right. It's okay. It just, it looks like a separate country. This looks like the flag of like, I don't know, New Denzenberg or something. Um, I like it. It really captures the cold wintry essence. I mean, you know what? I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Listen, it's not my state, so it doesn't matter if I like the flag or not. If you, as a resident of the state, like your flag, well, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Boo, Gideon, your flag opinions are... All right, Cherry, let's see yours. All right. All right. All right. Pennsylvania flag. Oh, okay, okay, that um, okay, that one's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, Cherry. All right. I'm not gonna lie. You win, but only because this flag is really cool. But I mean, is it really? all that different from mine i mean come on come on oh you're saying your flag also sucks texas i mean texas is pretty boring but texas is iconic texas is just north carolina but without the text right yeah this texas is just Here, let's let's show t it's a web gosh darn p here here's here's the state of texas listen all i'm saying wait hold the phone i just realized something i was gonna make a joke i was gonna make a joke and I was gonna say that North Carolina ripped off Texas because this is the Texas flag, right? Everybody knows Texas. Uh, Texas is cool, don't get me wrong, but North Carolina, North Carolina, what, what you doing here, North Carolina? I just realized something. Give me a second here, right? When was North Carolina uh, admitted to the Union? North Carolina was admitted to the Union November 12th, 1789. When was Texas uh, admitted to the Union? <gasps> Wait a second! December 29th, 1845. I'm sorry, North Carolina. I, I, I'm, I said that North Carolina was just Texas, but I'm, North Carolina was first. Texas. Shame on you, Texas. Shame on you. Ripping off North Carolina like that and not even and not even having the same layer of complexity. 
Shame on you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Texas looks like a baby US flag. It does. Mini USA mini. Gideon, mine isn't a pre-made PNG. Mine is original art that isn't reused from another thing. By default, mine is better, but it's still bad. Too detailed for a flag, but the art is great. Cherry, aren't you the one that just told me this? This pa Cherry, 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 Cherry. Uh, just one second. I would like I would like to go back to a previous conversation we had uh, this week, Cherry. Um. Let me just find something real quick. Let me just look up. Let, let me. I just need a. Um, just gotta find something. Just give me one second. Listen, Cherry. I hear what you're saying, right? I understand you, but by your metric, right? We just talked about this this week. Listen. If New Jersey, where is it? Where'd it go? Uh, if this is a bad flag, listen, just hear me out. If this is a bad flag, then this is bad box art. You told me this week that you don't think this is bad box art. So if you don't think that Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland has bad box art, then you can't say New Jersey is a bad flag for just reusing art and putting it on something else. Listen, I don't make the rules. I don't. I know it's my stream, so I don't. So I make the rules, but I'm just saying. I'm just. New Jersey is the Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland of flags. <laughs> Oh, you want me to show Florida? I'll show Florida. Let's check out Florida. There better be an orange on this. An orange or a hibiscus. Florida flag. Out. Out. Fighter isn't even in that game. You were defending it yesterday. Ooh, this one's fun. This one's groovy. Let me, let me save this as a PNG. Nightmare in Dreamland, it's just two anime renders on a black PNG. Yeah. It's, it's the, it, 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 Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland is the New Jersey state flag of box arts. <laughs> so here's Florida, and I'm not gonna lie, look at that, I was right, there's some hibiscus there. This is a good flag, I like this flag. Are we back? Hello? Hi, we're talking about Florida. Mrs. B, go smack him or something. I have a feeling he's talking to himself. No, I waited. I saw it, it because I had OBS up. I saw it wasn't, it wasn't doing nothing. Hi, everybody. So here's Florida. And I gotta say, Florida's a pretty cool flag. We got this big X running through it, right? Big red X. And then we have a seal, right? Great state of Florida and God we trust. I was right. There is hibiscus. There are hibiscus flowers on this flag. We got some good foliage, a lady, and a steamboat. This is a good flag. I like this one. This is a cool flag. Florida's got a neat one. That's a good flag right there. Gideon, your mom snitched on you talking to yourself. It's true. I whistle when I'm bored. I, whist I just whistle compulsively. You guys know this. Probably. Um, if there are any other flags I should check out, let me know. Backdrop has the red headband, so technically it's accurate. Oh! You're right. I forgot that. Wow, I forgot about Backdrop. I, it, it, it goes to show how little I remember of Backdrop before it became suplex. Good flags have ladies on them. <laughs> 
it's a neat flag. It is. Getting to show the Nepal flag. Nepal. Nice, quiet Nepal. The national flag of Nepal is the world's only national flag that is non quadrilateral quad quad quadrilateral in shape. The flag is a simplified combination of two single pennants. The vexillogical word for pennant. Its crimson red is the color of the rhododendron, the country's national flower, and red is the sign of victory in war. This is a cool flag. All right, Nepal. I gotta show this on a flagpole because this is a really interesting and very unique flag. Because check this out, it's not rectangular. That's a cool flag. I like that one a lot. That one's really cool. That's a neat flag. I've never seen that one before. All right, I'm curious now. What what's the New Jersey state flower? Cuz I know our state bird is the is the goldfinch. Um New Jersey state flower. The common blue violet. That, you know, that fits. It should be the pansy, but oh well. <laughs> Christmas tree looking. Boo, it's the wrong shape. I showed the Nepal flag. Nice, quiet Nepal. You want me to show you the funny looking one? Fine, I'll show the funny looking one. This is not how the flag should look. I feel like this is a stock photo. And this is very much incorrect. See, this is how you know, this th this is what happens when you forget to cut, this is what happens when you forget to cut out your transparent PNG. Oh no. It's transparent, I swear! You're lying! I have so many flags loaded into OBS now. Okay. Woo! Going to space. Deep Dish 9. Okay. Ah! He is a rocket now. Oh, we're going back. How do I... Oh, okay. Gotta bounce off the walls. There we go. This is probably the lap 2 portal, isn't it? Yeah. Still no clue! Uh, I still haven't checked to see how to get to lap 2 yet. Ooh. Cherry gets a Christmas tree. Cherry, you get the first Christmas tree of the year. That's that's impressive. I am impressed. The cyber level at Sonic Superstars be like. <laughs> yeah. No, they're so retro. So retro with 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 the Sonis. Yes. Not bad, but not great either. Rocket Incorporated. It's a good, it's a good company name. Just saying. Hey, what do you guys make? We make rockets. Cool. What's your company called? Rocket. Oh, I like that. Wow. What's down here? What's down here? I can't. There we go. No, Gideon. I was talking about the rocket. Oh. I hate the. I hate that rocket but so much nice yeah oh the rocket no i agree the rocket in those stages are not fun that's that's one of those things i love listen i don't i don't i don't need to be a debbie downer with 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 sonic superstars cuz it has some cool stuff very flawed game but some interesting ideas but man those the, re the so retro level is a little... Eh. A funny little alien man! Hello, funny little alien man! How goes? Woo! There we go. Oh! 
Oh, wait, no, I want that. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. Never mind. Woo! That rocket has a bow tie. He's officially the best one. There's a cow. Where's Peppino? Where is Peppino? That's what I want to know. I want to know where the caveman is. Where is Peppino? What's he doing right now? What's he up to? I want to see what's down there. There's nothing down there. Well, now I know. Ooh. I hate that Green Hill turned the level more. I hate that Green Hill turned turning level more than the rocket. I am terribly sorry. Um, Gideon, don't look at what I sent you until after the stream. Okay. What? Space Pizza Mart. That is an amazing store. I'm sure they have some really high quality products at Space Pizza Mart. Woo! Oh. Can I go through there? No, I cannot. I can go through here. Yeah. Where's Toe Jam and Earl in this level? That's a really good question. We got more. Listen, we got more the chicken. We got more the chicken in Pizza Tower. Where are Toe Jam and Earl? That's what I want to know. Make me a pizza. Fleens. You're not Fleens. Oh, that almost worked. That almost worked. Major roll. Ah! I don't. I don't like him. It's not a good. Getting him make a pizza. It's time. Is it? Is this? Is this the part where I? Oh! I I got a chef task. Is this the part where I I branch out? Have I all? Have I been streaming for long enough? to start branching out into like other genres other than just like gaming and and uh and art am i gonna start doing like weird stuff like what 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 germa does now where he'll just do it, excavation and and call it um he'll do excavation and call it uh archaeology am i there is it time are we making pizzas live on stream Am I gonna eat a pizza alone by myself? Because there's no physical way for me to give you guys the pizza we make? Oh. Mort and Bubsy will be the Sonic and Mario crossover of our time. Uh, you know what? I am not opposed to the idea of a Mort the Chicken and Bubsy crossover. That sounds very silly. And hilarious. Oh, hi. Uh, so, have we talked about what game is after Noid Tower? Just curious. Lul. Well, firstly, my good sir, it's Noise. This, he's not the Noid, he's the Noise. Big difference. Um, not sure. Possibly. What I'm thinking is... Uh, Superstar Saga. Nothing over here. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Probably, probably Superstar Saga. Woo! Excuse me. There we go. Woo! Mario and Luigi. Mario. Nope. Turn around. There we go. Wait, who are we gonna fight? If we're this is the world where we would fight the noise. Who are we going to fight? SSSSS squad! Or SSSSS team! How do I Uh Huh Well I know I have to build up do I just have to build up speed? Is this how we build speed for 24 hours? I think it is. Yep. Jump. Jump! Jump! How? Hmm. No. How 
do I, uh... Oh, I know what I gotta do. There we go. That puzzle was very obvious. I can't believe there's a Sonic group literally called SSSSS Squad. That's perfect. I do like the Mayo and Linguini Soup Steak Squad. Yes. The Mayo and Linguini Soup Steak Squad is just, it's so good. It's, it's peak, it's peak, peak Mayo Linguini. Ah. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Nope. There we go. Just bounce him along. Whoa. Hello. Whew. Oh. Gotta go this way. Ooh. No? I thought I activated the thing. There we go. There we go. Ooh, minute left. Minute left. TV with noise during pizza time. I'm worried. Please help. I'm sorry, Frisk Undertale. Don't worry. Everything is cool. We're good. Don't worry. The Super Special Sonic Search and Smash Squad. Correct. Then technically, shouldn't they be called the SSSSA and SS Squad? The SAS Squad? Come to Noisette for hugs and kisses. Okay, Noisette, I'll be there in a minute, dear. We gotta go. Wait a second. I am very curious. Normally. Oh. Noi normally. Normally, we would have um, Gus and Brick in this stage. I wonder. If we'll have something different. I really like the Superstar Saga. I really like Superstar Saga until the Fang Boss at the end. That made up for... They made up for it, though, when Glamrock Freddy said it truly was a Superstar Saga. Yup. All of those things happen in Mario and Luigi. Those are all true and correct statements. Come here. Come here. You know it's a good flag? The Mario and Luigi flag. Yes. The, the the flag of the Bean Bean Kingdom. That's a really good flag. The Bean Bean Kingdom flag. I feel like there's a secret here that I'm just not seeing. Nope, I guess not. Oh, hey! Oh! He was waving at me. Let me see if I can find another one of those fellers. Boop. He got booped. Sup? Hey, he's just our friend! Oh, he's not our friend anymore. You are not my friend. You stopped being cool, man. Woo! Okay, that's where we gotta bring Jerome. Oh, introducing the noise. Look, everybody. It's everyone's favorite other character. The noise. Look at him go. He do be going. The noise tutorial. Of course. Is this just how to play as the noise again? Weren't you supposed to bring your rat friend? No matter. You can still do the up jump in the air to do the crusher jump it should get you through these upcoming sections wait so yeah okay well you sent me an image oh well i'm gonna have to have a look at that the noise too electric boogaloo correct great Yeah, we can still navigate this just fine, thankfully. Um, wow. Hi. Whoop. Oh, wait, I... It's, um... How do you... There we go. Okay, it's up and jump. Electric Noigaloo. Yes. Cheese slimes. Okay. Sick tutorial. 
That was just the best tutorial I've ever seen. Electronic Newt Newt. Newt Newt! There we go. Oh. I feel like this is a new section. Oh. Oops. Oh! Oh, I saved myself. That was pretty good. Oh. I'll figure this out. No nope. noise. Thank you. No nope. noise. There. Okay, so you already have to be in the air when you do that. So there we go. We saved a wizard. Everybody likes to save a wizard every now and again. How do I? There we go. Wait a second. Hold the phone. Okay. It looked like a secret. It was not. Just notice the little pulse effect is the same as the one on the early Famicom boxes. Oh, yeah! It is! I love that. The Famicom boxes! I love that little... Um, I don't even... Yeah, I guess pulse would be the best way to describe it. I love that little squiggle design on the Famicom's box art for games. Good sentence, Gideon. Um, I always thought those looked really cool. Very iconic, you know? Bah. Bah. I have like, oh wait, I don't, that's right, yeah. Oh, well there's the toppings. I was about to say, I have no toppings. And then, hey, here's the mushroom. see here folks literally there is there is nothing to see here i don't think i actually need to destroy that block so we're not gonna why waste time trying to do something that's not necessary Woo. Wow. there we go farewell funny pizza gnome you will be missed Don't let him get away! Aw. Oh, he got away. Oh, no, there he is. No! I don't need that, but I want it. You know? You ever, you ever, you ever have, have those moments where you think to yourself, I am wasting time trying to get that thing, but I really want it. Oh. What? He just got pizza gnomed. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm not a gnome. Oh, wait, no. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm not a gnelf. I'm a gnome. And you just got gnome. What a magical time in the internet that was. Hmm? That was like three years ago. Was that? No, that was... No. You, you just got gnomed was like f longer than three years ago. Right. I feel like that was a while back. That was a funny meme. That was stupid, but funny nonetheless. Whoop. Ow. Got another topping. Still don't know where Jerome is. He's around here somewhere. Woo! I feel like, no, okay, there was just bottomless pit down there. Woo! See, that was pretty old, but everything feels old for just the last few years. 
the same as me. Yeah. Memes age pretty quickly. Um, memes don't always have the best shelf life. Hey, there's Jerome. Um, so maybe that's just it, you know? Get noise, noise. Thank you. Yeah. We have guys. Look, look at him. Look at him. That is the greatest little guy that is the greatest little brick fairy I have ever seen in my life and I love him he is that that made my night let's see I mean not only for we're talking about when Mario Odyssey came out and was like mm -hmm. yeah that game came out that was 2018 I believe right Golly, Mario Odyssey came out how many years ago? That was, um... It was six years ago. Good lord. Holy Toledo, that was like six years ago. Ha! I don't know how I feel about that. That was a long time ago. And I still remember it so vivid. I still remember the lead up to that game like it was yesterday. And I remember getting it like it was yesterday. I remember staying up until three o'clock in the morning. The, the the morning of Christmas Eve or the, of Christmas Day it was three o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day so Christmas Eve had just ended playing Mario Odyssey in bed on my newly acquired Nintendo switch that was the that was the best stop literally stop I'm sorry cherry time is weird time's funky can't do the tutorial again that's a shame back to that noise he's back everybody he's here there we go here's jerome thanks bud what do we got we got a pie we got a pie in the forest 2017 was literally a dimension ago i know also hello welcome keith how'd he do oh there's the last time uh there we go Woo! Ah. I'm a bit sad there's no lap twos as the noise yet. Um, but, you know. Gideon, change topics and go look at the train I sent you. Yes! I was about to say I was going to look at what you sent me uh, between stages. So let me have a little look, see. Oh, I don't even have Twitter open. Let me open Twitter. Twitter.com. Let's have a look. Well, firstly, I see I've been quoted. I've been quoted on Twitter, so that's cool. Um... She's back. Guys, I have wonderful news. I have incredible news. Guess what? She's back. She's back in service. Let me just, um... Let me just look, look, look up really quick. Let me just look this up, make sure I got this correct, right? Um, yeah. First built... In 1864? Yeah, first built in six in 1864. Been in service ever since. Went in and out. Has been in repairs. Recently restored. Ladies and gentlemen, Tally Clint is back. She is back in service. She's back in her blue livery. And she looks amazing. Look at this wonderful little engine. This is a lovely little narrow gauge engine. You sent something else? What else? Uh, 
No one. Fang Mark II after every attack. <laughs> it's just a sideways little Blastoise. Look at this funny little Blastoise. Thank you, Talaklin. You know what? She can stay. You know what? Chris is... This Chris is thinking about Talaklin. Um, and this Chris is going to be thinking about Blastoise. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Trina is absolutely adorable. Tiny baby. Yeah. She's a narrow gauge engine. So, you know, there's only about, I think, a, about a foot between, so 12 inches, uh, between the rails. Did I, have I done every stage so far? Are we up to the boss? No. I think we might be. Oh, we have to do golf. Golf is the noise. Hi, noise. How's it going, honey? Once you have beaten a level, you can revisit it to find a lap two portal near the entrance. These will give you a point bonus, but also force you to loop around the escape portion one more time. Okay, so in order to... Uh, that's not the noise. We'll have to see about that in a second. Um, train goes hard. Yes, yeah, she does. Welsh trains. Um, I like that anyone not here at the beginning, his name is literally Chris. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, so for context on Talaklin, uh, Talaklin um, was built in 1864 and is the namesake of the Talachlan Railway in Wales, which is the first ever railway line to be preserved. It's the first ever preservation line. They are still in operation to this day. Um, yeah, all these years later, that line has lasted over over 100 years. Oh, there we go. Cheesy. Primoberg! The sound? <laughs> yeah, we have the noise, and now we have the sound. Oh. I got a putt. That is not how you putt. But okay. I'll never forget when I first played this, and I played this on stream, and there there was a somebody in chat who was very distraught by the fact that I didn't realize every time you hit the little cheese ball guy uh, that he, that it counted as putting. Like, if you jumped on him, and they were very distraught, and I, it was very funny. I didn't know that jumping on him counted. Uh-oh. This is not going to be a Primo Berg. I'm not going to get far on this one. Oh, wait! Yes, I am. Ba-ba-ba! Like the double Farley loco. It was a pain to operate, but it looks cool. It does! There are some of those in, in, uh, in service still, too. Double Farleys are cool. Again, a little bit of a pain in the butt to operate because the driver and fireman are separated because the boiler runs through the middle of the cab. Um, but they are cool, and they do at least serve a function in terms of you don't got to turn them around. Um... And they operate pretty decently going forwards or backwards. Um, but, well, technically they're always going forwards because there is no turning around for them. Primo Berg image is great. It is. Bonk. You guys are getting some, some high quality uh, train stuff today for me. <laughs> Go. Oh, no! Yeah. Here we go. Bonk. Primo Berg. Oh, nice face noise. This is a diner level? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's the general kind of theme. I mean, food is the theme of the whole game. Gideon, not gonna lie, I miss when you used to tell me about trains. I feel like I know so little, and you had so much to tell. I told you a lot of the stuff I knew. And a lot of the stuff I didn't know I would look up while I was telling you to refresh my own memory. 
you ever have questions about trains, you let me know, and and we'll and we'll train it up. We will we will we will discuss trains to my heart's content and to your heart's content and to just the content of hearts in general. Um, the stream gonna be the reason I dive into train lore. Yes! Oh my gosh! If you're ever looking for interesting stuff about trains, look up just look up the Talaklin Railway. They're cool. Um, the Talaklin Railway was the inspiration for the Scarloey Railway in the Railway series books, and then thus in Thomas the Tank Engine. And Reverend Audrey himself actually volunteered on the line for a while. And so thus, all the stories that he wrote about the Scarloey are directly based off of real things that happened on the Talaklin and even happened while he was there. Um, so he had a lot of, like, first-hand experience in what happened there and, and was able to make his stories just the, the little bit extra authentic. Um, there we go. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna let him cruise. Gideon, show that one train that's so flat it's like a pancake. You mean the flying buffer beam? The, le, wait, let me show, let me show the little man. Let me show the little man. He is so distinguished. Look, you need to see this delightful engine. The Pekka and Sons number 1900. Here's a cool looking little engine for you. Look at this thing. Affectionately referred to. It's a web P. Affectionately referred to as the flying buffer beam. You'll see why. Oh, I saved it as a fire alpaca document. Not as a PNG. Check out this funny little guy. No cab. Or no roof on his cab, at least. Look at this little man. And this is, like, a pretty good, like, powerful shunting engine, too. Um, let's see. Uh, built in 1936 by Peckett and Sons of Bristol, England, it is the smallest standard gauge locomotive built in Britain at the height of 5 feet 4 inches. As of today, the engine is still at the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre, where it operates. With its diminutive size, it is known to many as the Flying Buffer Beam, though, for a while, in Quainton, it had been named Jill. Look at this thing. It is so silly. Even if you find, like, this, it, it's so silly. Look at him. He's so small. Let's see. Wait, can I find a comparison picture of the flying buffer beam next to another bigger engine? Um, yeah, here we have, right? Okay, check it out. Here we have the flying buffer beam next to a pug. And a pug is a pretty standard um, 040, just like shunting engine. Um, if you need a basis in your mind, think Percy from Thomas and Friends. Here, here, here he is next to another standard gauge engine that is also considered to be small. He's wee. He's little. He's so small. What a marvelous little machine. You know what? Upside down Chris is going to be thinking about him. There we go. Again, I sent you a photo. What is that? Is that a train? What did I just find? Let me see. Let's have a look-see. This is a train. Uh, this, well, technically it's not a train. None of them are trains. They're engines. There's a big difference. This, I don't know what this is called, but I can tell you what this is. This is likely... This is electric. Um, I'm not sure what country this is from, but this is electric. And this is probably a rail inspection. This is probably not used for shunting, just judging by how small it is. It's probably used for, like, rail inspection or for service workers to easily get up and down parts of a line or an area. Um, maybe used... It's it probably used at a factory. This looks like it's used at a factory. Um, you'll often see private miniature railways, uh, at factories and things like that, where they don't run onto any main lines, they just run around the plants that they operate. Um, yeah.
You never tool up for trance. Never. Absolutely not. What? Bam! Oh! Woo! Primo Berg! Put it in H. <laughs> it's the little forklift guy from Cars. It's Guido. Yeah, that's basically the forklift of trains, essentially. Donut noise. I just saw him on the TV. Am I going the right way? Wait. I feel like I was here already. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold the phone. I almost skipped a secret. I see you, secret. There we go. Oh, if you're ever looking for a really fun movie to look up, really good movie, I forget what year it's from, um, but it's actually, so there was a short film that was made in the 1950s, correct me if I'm wrong, um, about the Talaflin Railway called Railway with the Heart of Gold, and it was about how they became the first um, preservation line. Originally, the, the Talaflin Railway operated uh, to allow farmers to get their produce to market and also as a means of transporting slate from a quarry. Um, where do I go? Oh, I go through the door! Wow, good job, Gideon. Um, and so then, as, you know, as roads and whatnot came about and it became easier for people to transport the... As you know, I, I believe it was as the... Um, as the mine became less used... Um, and as it became easier for people to, to travel via other means, um, the railway just kind of fell out of use as much. Um, and eventually was purchased by enthusiasts and kept running by enthusiasts. And then served as the basis for the movie The Titfield Thunderbolt, which is a really cool movie. Um, I've seen it twice now. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and it's just about... A preservation railway coming about. And they have a they have a fight. They have a duel with a steamroller. It's really fun. Gideon, what is the biggest train? The biggest train is the Union Pacific Big Boy. Do you guys want have you you, you guys want to see the Union Pacific 14,000? The big boy? I'll show you the big boy. I'll bring out the big boy. Should I bring out the big boy? I'll bring out the big boy. Is it time to bring out the big boy? You bet it's time to bring out the big boy. It's always time to bring out the big boy. Get a load. Get a load of this. Take a look at this absolute unit. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Number 14, 4014, Union Pacific Big Boy. This here is the Big Boy. If I could get, he's so big, he takes up this whole gosh darn image. Look at this absolute unit of a steam locomotive. Let's read a little. Let's do a little, let's do a little reading, shall we? Union Pacific has a bit written about the big boy on their website. So this is from Union Pacific's own website. 25 big boys were built exclusively for Union Pacific Railroad, the first of which was delivered in 1941. The locomotives were 132 feet long and weighed one... 0.2 million pounds. Because of their great lengths, the frames of the big boy were hinged or articulated to allow them to negotiate curves. They had a 4884 wheel arrangement, which means they had four wheels on the leading set, pilot wheels, which guided the engine, eight drivers, another set of eight drivers, and four wheels which supported the rear of the locomotive. The massive engines normally only operated between Yugden, Utah, Cheyenne, and Wyoming. 
There are seven big boys on public display in various cities around the country. They can be found in St. Louis, Missouri, Dallas, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, 14 wheels, 25,000 tons. It takes 56,000 pounds of coal, standard gauge. The boiler is, he. it's, it's enormous. It is enormous. They have a little size chart here on, uh, on Union Pacific's website. So for reference, just, just for reference, the, the, this bottom one is the easiest reference, right? This is how big the big boy is in comparison to a school bus. Massive. Is it still in operation? Yes. There's a great story about that too. There is, I forget where, um, let me, you know what? We're going to find it. We're going to find it. Union Pacific Big Boy Rescues Diesel. Okay, so people were making jokes about this for a couple weeks because this is literally the plot of a railway series story where you have two failed diesels that Henry winds up coming to rescue. This is from uh, last June. Let me, uh... We're not listening to an advertisement. Let me just show this real quick. Let me let, let me show how massive this thing is. This amazing machine. I am sorry for how sidetracked this is, but this is worth it. Oh wait, I can't capture because I've got this in a private window. Okay, well I'll show this. I'll show this at some later point. I'll show this at some later point. I'll show this on on stream maybe next week. I'll, I'll open up the stream with this next week. But there were two. Um, I believe it was. Well, obviously it was for Union Pacific. But there were two. Um, just you know, diesel electric freight trains that were scheduled and that were headed out. And if I'm not mistaken, both of them wound up failing for one reason or another. And Union Pacific didn't have any other engines to come save the day. So what do they do? That would have been able to save the day. So what do they do? They bring out the big boy. They bring out the big boy. And keep in mind, these are like long freight trains too. These are thousands of, of tons of, of freight being hauled. And this absolute unit pulls one train and pushes the other. I, I am severely messing up this puzzle. The big boy is a testament to the power of steam, and it is truly incredible. Oh, shoot. I messed up the puzzle again, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. I'm sorry. I got so distracted by the, by, 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 by trains. Oops. All right. What do I do here? We warp. And then I, okay. No, I think, we're, I think I'm doing this right. Do I need to use the, the goober golf ball? To open the... Excuse... Is the noise... Che oh, the noise is cheating. The, do you see what he's doing? He's changing the score. He is changing the score. So that I always get Primo Berg. Oh, this is what I was supposed to do. There we go. I see now. Okay. Gideon, you should make a video documentary about this. Become the train world's defunct land. Oh, no, 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 no. That's already been done. And there's somebody who's done it much better. There's a wonderful YouTube channel I highly recommend checking out called Train of Thought. He does videos uh, about once a week. And they're typically usually not that very long. Uh, they can range from four, six, to eight minutes. I, I, they're very easy to, to find and very easy to digest. He's done videos on Talaklin. He's done videos on The Big Boy. He's done videos on all of them. Um, and he, he does amazing little history videos on trains. I've learned so much from watching his videos. Um, I highly recommend checking out Train of Thought because it's a fantastic channel. All right, Gotta Bounce was fun tuning in. Have a wonderful night, Keith. Thank you very much for showing up. It was nice to have you here, even if for just a little while. And I hope you have a great night. And get some good sleep. Woo! See, 
Yeah, we had the the smallest train. Well, actually, actually, the flying buffer beam isn't even the small. Like, if, if, if you want to have a, a size comparison between, oh, what's the, the biggest train and what's the smallest train, the flying buffer beam isn't even the smallest train. That goes to miniature engines on the um, the Romney Hine and Dimworth Railway. I am messing that up severely. The RH and DR, um, which are, they f oh gosh darn it. They follow the design of standard gauge engines, but on a much smaller scale to the point where there's like, I think there's only like a, a good, uh, I wanna say like not even a foot between the wheels. Um, here we go. No, no, go back, go back. There we go. Woo. Perfect. One thing I love about trains is that you can tell if it comes from the US or the UK based on the size. Based on the size and based on the design, um, UK based steam locomotives are oftentimes a little more elegant looking in terms of they're very much so often streamlined um, and go sort of for you know try to be very aesthetically pleasing while American steam engines are more often kind of function over form and they may not always be the prettiest they'll be these huge hulking beasts with with pipes and and and, and tubes and things sticking out of all the, out of every direction possible but they're still phenomenally useful um, and powerful machines. Gideon, what is the widest train? What is the longest train? After all, you'll have to discuss all the train dimensions. Well, again, if we're going for length, um, technically the longest train would be something along the lines of like a, a, a bullet train or something, or a, a subway. Because technically, those are one long train. They are not just... I mean, technically, they have cars and carriages, but often, sometimes, they are just, like, kind of one big unit. Um, though, technically, the big boy is is the is the longest one. Um, in terms of, like, size, it, it is both the, 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 the biggest and longest. Um, in terms of, like, width, I don't think there is a, a wheel gauge larger than standard gauge. Um... That I'm not 100% sure about. I never found Jerome. Um, yeah. I'd have, I'd have to double check my research on that. If there is a width longer than standard gauge, it was likely experiment. No. I know what the longest, I know what the widest train is. That one's a doozy. That one is a very big thing. And it's a little hard to explain. So let me beat this stage first, and then I will explain to you what the widest train was. Though technically it wasn't a train, technically it was rolling stock. So a, a carriage, essentially, a wagon. Um, okay, let me find this. Technically, this is not a train. Technically... It's rolling stock. Um... No, that, what? That's... No, I was looking... So, I won't tell you which party um, built this thing. But this was built during the Second World War. Uh, and it was developed by the Germans. And it is a cannon. Now, you need to see this thing because it is enormous. This is the Sch Schwerer Gustav. And it's, uh, it's kind of huge. Let me see if I can find a good picture. This is really the only good picture I can find. Technically, it's rolling stock. It's not an engine. But this is a real thing that was built. They built one of them. 
it never saw active duty or deployment, but it was tested, I believe. Actually, I think it might have been used once. And it covers the width of two railway lines. So this thing is essentially the, le the, the width of two trains and is about the same length as the big boy, if not longer? Um, yeah. It couldn't just be wheeled out, though. It had to be, like, constructed partway along the line. I, I forget the complete history with it. But that thing's, uh, that thing's a beast. All right. It is time to face our fears and fight ourself? Question mark? The Doys! Oh! New music. Who are you? Ah. Well, I'm gonna kick bombs at him. He's like the noise, but he sucks. Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed to do that on my stream. You're not allowed to do that on my stream. That's illegal. Ooh, we got good. He's just chucking rocks. Gideon, Google says the longest train was called the Gone. Let me look up the Gone. It's the Loud. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Well, and again, keep in mind, that's a train. So a train is the consist of cars pulled or wagons or trucks, whatever you want to call them. A train is the consist of cars pulled by an engine. A train is not the engine itself. So technically, yes, that is the longest train, but that isn't specifically the longest engine. Wow. You are not allowed to do that, sir. That is, that is obscene. Aha! Phase two. Ooh! Oh, that's a funky ba that's a funky background you got going there, but pal. I can't tell you how many times I did this boss as Pepino to get a P rank on this boss. That you know, the noise is not a huge challenge. It's a fun boss though. This is a boss that really lets you like do fun stuff with parry. Bonk. Oh! Have a bomb. They're funny. Ah! He explode! Oh, I'm out of bombs to throw. You stop that. Ow. I'm getting careless now. Here I am saying, oh yeah, the noise isn't a challenge. I've fought him a hundred times and I'm dying. I'm losing right now. I lost! That's what I get for talking smack. We try again. Bonk. Ow. Here we go. I'm not paying attention. I was looking at the background. I wasn't paying attention to where he was. Bonk. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss Pepino. I miss him. We have not seen him all stream. I tried to send him to the moon. Um... Squidward looking background. We're all thinking it. I wasn't gonna say it, but I was thinking it. Ah! What? Gosh darn skateboard gets me every time. You ever look at a background and you think to yourself, man, whoever drew this had fun. They had fun. Music 
here is really good, too. That's one thing that Pizza Tower never disappoints with. It's a soundtrack. use the yeah you can use the taunt to sort of air stall a bit i was thinking gigas yes well cross squidward with gigas uh and there you go ow ow gigas or gigu whichever you prefer oh because that's the trap yeah that's a ploy to lull me into a false sense of security and then hit me when I least expect. <gasps> ah! Who? Who? Excuse me? Back, who's the blue noise? That's the doys. I don't know who that was that came in and saved the day. It looked like Pepino, but it could not have been. Do need to download the Pizza Tower soundtrack. Yes. Eh. Bad. Do better. I did my best noise. I did my be I slave over a hot stove all day, and this is the thanks I get. Okay. Already up to World 4. That's pretty good. Sadly, we won't be able to finish this tonight. Um, that's the sound. <laughs> that's the sound. Up we go. Da -da 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 -da. Now, where is... Okay. I made a horrible mistake when I played this game for the first time. I killed Snotty. This is Snotty. He's our friend. You don't kill him. He's a friend. You must be this tall. I am taller. Haha. Uh -huh. Suck it, Pepino. Which stage is this? The Pig City. I'll probably have time for this stage, and then, and then that'll be it for the night. Um. Whoop. Well, oh yeah. Gotta say though, all in all, this has been really solid DLC. I know I'm. I, it's taken me a while to get used to how the noise functions, and I'm still not completely used to it. Um, but actually, we go back a second. But despite that, I'm still really enjoying this. I'm still having really a lot of fun with this. Um, nice. That is. That is. That is one. That is some good TV right there. You got some good TV right here, my guy. Was the DLC free? Yep, it was 100% free. The noise is bigger than Pepino? That seems wrong. It does. Oh. Um, that's probably fine. Get in. Free. <laughs> oh. I forgot how good the pigs were. Woo. Best kind of DLC right there. Agreed. It's free LC. Oh, he's not... I'm not stuck to him. He's stuck to me. Remember, everybody, no crime allowed. Crime is strictly off the menu. If you're looking to do crime, can't do it here. It's not allowed. Yeah, if only I had the game. But the game itself was pretty cheap too. I think I think it was like $20. So for $20, you get the whole game and you get the DLC. That's pretty gosh darn good. That's a that's a steal right there. That's honestly really good. And the game you get is really good. 
Like, sometimes you buy a game that's cheap for, like, 20 bucks. Like, eh, I mean, it was okay. But Pizza Tower is actually a good, like, inexpensive game. If crime is off the menu, what will I have with my order of cheese fries? Coleslaw. You'll have coleslaw. You'll have a side dish with your side dish. And you will like it. <laughs> that is a threat. Woo! Secret! <laughs> oh. I'm too cheap. That's okay. Listen. We're all a little cheap sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. Whoop. Shame on you. Ew. What, you don't like coleslaw? Chair, are you telling me you don't like coleslaw? I don't know if I can be friends with somebody who doesn't like coleslaw. Boo! Boo this man! What? Booing me over coleslaw? Come on. Coleslaw isn't that bad. It goes great with ham. Ham sandwiches. All right, fine. You want an actual dish? You want an actual dish with your side dish? Um, have a cheeseburger. Without the, the burger, that's just a grilled cheese. Have a grilled cheese. Have a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is good. Have a tuna melt. I like tuna melts. I had tuna melts this week. Oh, I gotta go this way. Teeter is not big on coleslaw. Please forgive. Okay, well then here's the thing. I got a plan. Listen, if you guys don't like coleslaw, here's what we do. Here's what we do, okay? We go to a restaurant, right? And the waiter asks, oh, what would everybody like? And and you, you, you place your orders, right? And you then say, you then follow up by telling him, oh... I want the coleslaw as my side dish. Then, when he gets to me, I'll tell the man, I'll tell the waiter man, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not hungry, I won't have anything, but could you big bring me a plate anyway? I just want to feel included, right? And then, what we'll do is you guys will just hand me all your so sides of coleslaw, and I'll get to eat for free! This plan is foolproof. Let's see. Um, okay, a vegetarian cheeseburger with a side of cheese fries and macaroni because I'm a one-trick pony. Honestly, that's still not a bad order. Cheese is the, the running theme of that order. I feel like there is something in this room, but I guess not. Just grooving with the boys. Woo! This is the room with the secret, which is even easier to do because the noise can do this! Nothing to see here, folks. This is fine. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about the giant pig face in the background. He's fine. He's not gonna hurt nobody. He's just hanging out while you collect bacon in the bacon room. No, I didn't even want to smell it. Shame on you. Sit on the other side of the restaurant. You're getting kicked out of Flickies! You're kicking me out of Flickies! How could you? You know I love Flickies. You would deny me the joy of Flickies? I am so deeply saddened by this. I did not realize coleslaw was such a was such a crime. I didn't realize coleslaw was an enemy of the state. But apparently it is. And I'm going the wrong way. Oops, didn't mean to go in there yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Little noise driver. I still do not understand how Noise's wall jump works, and that's okay. Oh, he's got gloves now! He's got grabby gloves! Oh, 
It's hard to see. Don't worry about it. Wait, aha! He's got the funny gloves. Oh. Can I? No, game. I don't want. Thank you. There we go. Here we go. Getting my way down. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. And I'm homebound. I love being colorblind. I'm sorry. Ow. I love the dancing pigs. Aren't they great? Look at this dude rapping over here. He's rapping his heart out. It's the pig city. Ooh. Gotta jump and then do that. There we go. Look at him just watching out the window, seeing his imaginary friend do something really cool. Any of you guys do that when you were kids? I used to do that all the time. Where you're just watching out the window and there's nothing there. You're in the car, you're watching out the window. You're like, you know what? There is something there. There's a little guy, a little man running around, running alongside the car. And it would be like different things. Sometimes it would be a character from a game. Sometimes it would be an OC. Yeah. I used to do that all the time. That was the best part of any car trip. I would look forward to that. I'm, I know that's probably weird, but as a kid, I would look forward to car rides, specifically so I could look out the window and pretend there was something running alongside the car. down there what was down there <laughs> I didn't need to grab him but I, I thought I would anyway for good measure let's see no we're all acquainted with the running man and the and love him as much as you do good I'm glad I'm glad this is just a thing. I'm glad that that, that I that, that everyone else did this too because that was the f that was fun. It was simple joys. I enjoyed simple joys as a child. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember that. Ooh. Ah, hello. There we go. Woo. Oh, well, fiddlesticks. Oh, wait, I can probably just soup. Yep. Wow. Right. Um, Jerome is his door is back in the um, in the prison cell. I was thinking to myself, wait, where's where's what do I do with Jerome in this stage? That's right. Ball brick. We saw brick. Lady, you got good taste in TV, there, lady. That's some good TV right there. Oh, <laughs> oh, her face. I'm sorry, madam. Check my wrestling action figure sometimes playing out the most ridiculous storylines. Nice. Hi, Brick. Look, everybody, it's Brick. Woo. Brick is here. He makes a cameo. Where's Gus? Where'd 
going. We're going. I'm going. We had a rule in my house, in, in, in my family, that so you could take certain things out of the house with you, right? But you couldn't take toys out of the house with you. Because if you did, you're probably going to lose them. And you know, that I, that was a very wise thing my parents did. Because I, I still have, like, everything I had as a kid. Because I never took anything out anywhere with me. Ooh, onigiri! And so I never had the chance of accidentally leaving something behind in a, in a grocery store or in a restaurant. Because that happened to my brother once. My brother had this, like, prized, beloved teddy bear, right? That was, like, everything to him. And my grandparents took him out to breakfast somewhere once. He accidentally left it behind at the restaurant. My parents were like, you did not lose Sleepy Bear. You, how, how? We literally told you don't let him take it with him because he might lose it. And he lost it. They get back to the restaurant. It was closed. They were only open on the weekends. They get back to the closed restaurant and they see it just sitting there in the booth, just chilling out in the empty rest, in the empty restaurant. Yeah, and they had to wait until it reopened to get it. Because that never let me take anything out of the car. And that was probably for the best. Come to Noisette for hugs and kisses. Okay. Let us go see her. Where is she? Let's give Noisette some money. Good shell, I say. <laughs> Phone. Where is Noisette? She should be located where the boss door is. Um. Man, my poor birthday card. I know, right? Well, this is. I'm gonna find Noisette so we can we can we can give her money. Um, but otherwise, I think this will be a good spot to leave off for the night. I will definitely come. I I, I definitely think I'll come back to this next week. Hey, there's Snick. Um. Where? There she is. I know he's at. Here's some money. The smooch. Wonderful. But yeah. Well then, I think this is a good spot to leave off for tonight. Um, next week, I think we'll definitely come back to this because I'm really enjoying the noise DLC. It's very fun. Uh, it has certainly helped my perception of the noise and has improved what I think of him. Um, yeah, and it's been really fun. I really like what they've done with the gameplay here. And I still want to check out um, the new levels that Peppino got as well in the in the previous Halloween update. Um, considering, I obviously, we, we only have one world after this left. Uh, there's not much game left. And I don't really plan on doing too much 100% completion. Next week will probably be a game plus art stream. Um... But yeah, this was really fun. Thank you very much, everybody, for, for tuning in. This is really fun, good stream. And uh, as always, as we say in the cartoons, that's all, folks. Oh, yeah, have a blessed and wonderful night. If I forgot to say that as well. Good night, everybody. That's all, folks. Bye.